Hello, and welcome to my channel. I am Damien Marie at Hope. In the simplest terms, I am an atheist humanist philosopher and prehistorical writer researcher at DamienMarieAtHope.com. I am specifically an axiological atheist. An axiological atheism can be thought to involve ethical and value theory reasoned and moral argument driven apathyism, agnosticism, atheism, anti-theism, anti-religionism, secularism, and humanism. Axiological atheists can be understood as a value theory or a value science atheist. As an axiological atheism's ethically reasoned and constructive pro-humanity. I am an axiological thinker, value theorist. The science of goodness, worthiness, usefulness, valuableness, virtue, reliableness, accuracy, validity, morality, integrity, beneficialness, etc., etc. We axiologists have a value consciousness. And in general, we see the architecture of humanistic humanitarianism value in people that we see as dignity beings. Places and things are not. Axiology is a value theory. In its broadest sense, it involves areas of philosophy that are deemed to encompass some evaluative or evaluation aspect. Therefore, it crosses almost all domains in some way or another. Now for a more detailed terms as to what I am. I am an axiological atheist, an anti-theist, an anti-religionist, secularist, humanist, rationalist, writer, artist, poet, philosopher, advocate, activist, with schooling in psychology, sociology, as well as I am an autodidact, self-taught in science, archaeology, anthropology, and philosophy. I promote science and am against pseudoscience, pseudo-history, pseudo-morality, things that are found in religion. I support realism, axiology, of course, liberty, justice, ethics. I am also an anarchist socialist. I support Anarchism and socialism, progressivism, liberalism, philosophy, psychology, archaeology, and anthropology, advocating for sexual, gender, child, secular, LBGTQIA+, race, class rights, and equality. So if you can guess from all that, I support or challenge that I have an eclectic variety of videos on a variety of topics. Please take time to check them out as well as enjoy. If you enjoy them, please give them a like and don't forget to subscribe as new things are on their way all the time for my channel. Yep, and then um, we'll have her read, and then basically you and me do the main stuff. I mean, if she wants to, to comment, that's fine, but I, I really want you this time. At other times, I was just letting you know so that you you don't yep. feel that you're talking over me or something. This is all about capitalism. You've okay. done a lot more research on capitalism than <laughs> I have. Seriously, I've done almost nothing. Other, I mean, historical, I've done shitloads. Right, right. I mean, like... As far as like socialism, anarchism, you know, I haven't read shit. I basically just have very smart. Look at the world. It's fucked. I don't need anyone to tell me it's fucked. <laughs> I fucking can see it's fucked. You yeah. Know? So, I mean, I'm very smart. I don't need, but I, I, was, I don't want this to be just about my history or me guessing about capitalism or my own opinions. Because I will have plenty of times and later to talk about my opinions about things. I really want to hear your insights, either, you know, historically or not, don't feel like to not talk about other stuff because this is the, the video. I really want to destroy capitalism. So sounds good to me. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> so, I mean it's a worthy endeavor for I feel like I'm gonna do today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>
I, I sent her. I sent her the thing. Yeah, tell, let me tell her. Click the link. Thank God, Gordon. Uh, click the link. It might take me a bit to warm up, and. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so we're back. I wasn't saying you had to like, you know, be on fire, but I was saying that don't feel that you shouldn't. I I totally want you to go there. If okay. it's about socialism, anarchism, and about capitalism, especially destroying it, ripping it apart, saying why it's everything evil, you know, it's always about value to me. Because I understand if you show people the value, you don't have to tell them it's bad. They'll know. That's true. Yeah, they'll that's know true. themselves. <laughs> yeah, they'll figure it out. Well, because well, once you say like why, like like say, you know, I, I don't like people telling me what to do, right? And we would like <laughs> to live in in a society where Damien can punch people whenever he feels like it. You're like, well, no, oh, so you <laughs> well, do no. want rules, right? Yeah, you do want some sort of. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you didn't care. <laughs> General, people get this confusion. I don't think there's any real anarchist. Fuck this bullshit. And I'm not talking about. I don't get into this. Who's a what, what, whatever, you know. I right. Don't. So to me, as I say, are you a capitalist? Because if I hear a yes, then I say, uh, if I hear a no, I start smiling. And the more I hear good things, the more I'm going to smile. But so <laughs> I'm just making a comment. So unlike some people, I like anyone who's a socialist working for humanity. Now, the more you work for humanity, fucking more I like you. Yes. Yeah. The more you're for freedom and justice and equality and peace and kindness man more i love you more you're for empathy and compassion more i love you i mean yeah. this is because it to me it's not just a not them fuck i don't want to just be not them right like, right i want to building be, something right yeah i want to be <laughs> the positive not just not in other words i don't want to just remove them because it remind me of something i went to a, a um like a social justice um secular convention and it was okay. really awesome. Seriously, I was like, "Fuck, these should always be like this." <laughs> of course, it went one time, and then people. I went actually two times, and then people didn't want to go no more. I was like, "This should be a movement. This is freaking awesome." Anyways, I flew right. to um, Houston to go do it. Well, because okay. everyone always thought it was weird. Why are you here? I'm like, I'm an activist. I don't know what people don't get. They always say, "Oh, you're just that atheist on on Facebook." A long time ago, and like. Yeah, I think you never understood me then. If that's what you think. Because <laughs> right. I tell I'm people to, get... to understand. Hi. Because I say to understand me is to understand I am an actor. <laughs> I mean, to me, forget out there to live. Why am I outside? What's okay. that? I was sitting lopsided. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was me finished. So that's what I was saying, and then we'll um, so we'll, we'll do some stuff. So we'll, um, we're, we're hitting an echo. Do you have something on? Do you have something on? You can't Can like listen at the same time. Do you have our uh, speakers or or uh, head, headphones? I don't have headphones. I'm trying to situate myself. Okay, I'm good. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I think it's, it's not, okay. It's still sound, is it me? I can't be. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing the echo as well. It's uh, something is wrong. Uh, usually that happens when. Uh, yeah, if. Uh, yeah, if, uh, if you have some sort of. Headphones that you can use, that would be ideal. I don't know if how to get away from the echo without it. I don't. Um, mm. I was like, I was just well, looking at my daughter. Well, you can always call me on the phone, I guess, but I really want to do it on the, on the, the camera. You want me to call you on the phone? No, I said I don't want that. I said if they had to, because oh. it, it, the echo is, is not cool. No. <laughs> so I don't know. Are, are you on your phone? Mm -mm. You're on a computer. On your computer. Let me try and log in through my computer. Hold my. I'm on my yeah. tablet. Let me try oh, to log okay. in through my computer. Yeah, that may be better.
Well, anyways, Corey, like I was saying, that my thing is that people don't get. It's not that I'm an atheist, not even an atheist. My biggest really thing is that I'm an activist. Who I do out? it because I fucking okay. care and I'm trying to change the world. So that's why people will say to me, oh, well, what you're doing won't get you famous. I'm like, the fuck who's trying to get famous? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, mean, I was trying I to want people. people you know? I want people to listen to what I'm saying. It, if I can get a lot of people to listen, that's great. I mean, well, yeah, so it's not I'm about not, me, obviously, right? right? Well, yeah, I'm not. Well, I'm not. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with even being about you. I mean, because what I would ask the question is, are you a person of quality? Not, yeah. not as someone following you. I don't. I don't have any problem with leaders. What I problem with the people to, the acting as their leaders and they're not leading. To be a yeah. leader is a person who actually inspires others to greatness. Doesn't spend time glorifying their own greatness that's not a leader that's a bragger yeah yeah that's a fucking bragger i mean that's what it is i sometimes do that because i'm not fucking perfect <laughs> <laughs> turns out you're a human being <laughs> it does so happen but here's the difference between everybody else not everybody being you but like some people some people when they realize an error or a flaw in themselves they say fuck the world yeah, they make excuses and right. Uh, but when yeah. Damien sees an error, Damien thinks as an axiologist, is this harmful to the world? Yeah. And if the answer is yes, then I need to mitigate that as much as possible. That reminds me of when the stuff on the um I hope she comes back. <laughs> the stuff <laughs> if, keep this anyways and send it to me. I'll still splice it in somehow. Sure, sure. But um the, the the stuff with the um you know the the trial and the the you know shooting people in the street yeah. shit, that made me feel uh, about half sociopath i mean it, i started really <laughs> that's the kind of situation that turns like uh people with no uh violent tendencies into angry potentially violent people like that's right right so it's all it's so thing. wrong so but... i realized at first i had to get off off the line because i realized I'm in a toxic mood. Yeah. And, and see, like, that's what I was trying to tell you, that I don't go, oh, well, if I'm in a toxic mood, the world's going to fucking be suffer right now. No, I go, ooh, I'm in a toxic mood. I need to remove myself from the world so I don't hurt someone accidentally. I'm just saying about, this reminds me of the people. Even like someone's going to take a gun in, the, in public. I actually have not used a gun in 25 years. Mm -hmm. Maybe more, but something like that. I gave the gun away for almost nothing, 50 bucks. It was a $450 gun that I had, one of them. I actually had two guns, but but one of the guns that I took to was the new gun. It hadn't even used. I couldn't believe it. I didn't, it was still in the freaking container. And the guy goes, I'll give you 50 bucks. I'm like, it's brand new. <laughs> so I said, you know what? Go ahead. Because I realized as an axiologist, it had to have no value. I had to stop valuing guns. Mm -hmm. Stop valuing knives. I had to stop valuing violence as a way to solve things. You know, because that's uh, to me my <laughs> my nature before. And this is what I was going to say too. I always say I need to, come to say it better sometimes. My actual nature is very kind, but because of abuse, then this toxic nature is taken over as a protective mechanism in my PTSD or whatever. Right. Right. So. It's, I just want people to understand. I actually, my nature is super sweet. I think. I think I would have been a wonderfully <laughs> sweet person, but after being beaten and hurt and starved and not clothed and and abandoned and and you know molested and freak every day, freaking my tailbone broke and and I'm just my, my life gang violence. I've, I've been jumped. I've been stabbed. I've been shot at. I, my first getting jumped by a gang was at a school event to the zoo. And um, that was like, uh, how old was I? Eh, I don't remember now. Sometimes, this is what people don't understand. Sometimes with my abuse and stuff, I don't always like, it's like looking back through like clouded glass. I, I don't always, depending on my mood, don't. Can don't remember the event, but not the exact context. Yeah. Well, anyways, I remember why too was racism, which I didn't even know was engaging racism. But you know, isn't that kind of how racism generally is? They go, oh, I'm not doing racism when you are fucking doing racism. 
So, right, I had these uh, guys, they're all white, because I didn't even think about it. But they're all white, and they said, hey, there's some guys over there that are Mexican. Let's go fight them. <laughs> and I thought, okay. I mean, I didn't even know why we're fighting for what, it was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Insanity. I, you know, and here I'm thinking I'm, I'm, you know, not a bad person. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but I was like, I don't, maybe I was 13, I don't know, 12, 11. I don't remember exactly right now. But anyways, I was younger. I wasn't like even 15. And I um, I went to go fight. I was ready to fight. I was ready to fight. No problem. And then I looked around and everyone else had left. There was like 10 of them and they're all gone. And it was just me. And here <laughs> comes like 12 Mexicans. Who proceeded to punch me about five or six times, but then stopped after my shirt was ripped and I was bleeding. And they said, wouldn't you like to get those guys you were brave enough to stand and fight? And I said, yes, I was. And I said, oh, actually, I would really like to go get the guys that left me <laughs> to get beaten. Oh, yes. And they're like, why did you call us racist names? And I go, I didn't call you anything. They said, well, they were yelling, you know, Spanish. I go, I don't even speak Spanish. I don't know what they said. I don't even know how to repeat what they said. <laughs> and but but it reminded me that here I am hating people I didn't even fucking know listen to these guys say words to them I didn't even understand yet I'm supporting stuff I don't even understand what they're saying and I'm supporting this bullshit and then I'm gonna go fight for these dumb it, it just it really got that was a for me at least on the streets that was a stepping point for me not hanging out with white people so that's why people don't understand my my background is a lot more ethnic than my skin may lead you to believe. And that's why I wrote that one thing that my first job was picking eggs at an, a farm with migrant workers. They paid us by the weight. It was paid by the right. day, under the table, everything. So I wasn't even under, I was like underage or 12 or 13. <laughs> I'm down there or whatever. And But you know what? Here's something I want to tell people. You know what I felt? Welcome. Something I never fucking felt in most other places. People always say I'm too feminine or too masculine or too fucking something loud, quiet, whatever. You know what? In that realm with those indigenous people, a lot of them were migrant workers that had illegally come over the border. You know what they treated me with? Fucking dignity. Man, I felt like one of them. I didn't feel white or anything. I just felt the same. And I think that that really also taught me that's how I want everyone to feel around yeah. me. That they feel not different, but they're one of us. I want everyone. I understand mutualism on that level as a child. That Man, that is the feeling everyone needs. Is that comfort and safety that you get when you're accepted and equal. Not lower, not above, just equal. Anyways, so... I want to uh, hear from our wonderful person that's going to join us, another great leader. Could you go ahead and tell us a little bit about you and go ahead and feel free to introduce yourself, Corey, and vice versa, since I seem to have <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Corey. I've heard a lot about you. He talks very highly of you. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so I'm a uh, former ex evangelical and i was in the church for 23 years i um have been departed from the church for 11 years now and uh and uh, first five years were rough in deconstruction now it's just sitting back and watching everything else take place and and hoping to be the one that has their arms open for everybody else to run into when they're coming out because it is a hell of a ride and um uh so, yeah, that's pretty much what I, I do. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Well, and I really appreciate that. I, and I, that's why I, I share a lot of your stuff. I mean, I don't have to share anything because uh, no one's paying me and I'm in no organization. And even if I was, I would do yeah. what I want anyways. <laughs> I'm an anarchist and nobody tells right. me what to do. Unless, and only what, you know what tells me to do? Morality. Understanding of universal ethics. That's what tells yeah. me to do. Reason is a revolutionary process. It requires every user at some point to change to reason, not what is preferred. Always. 
If that doesn't happen, let me tell you something. You don't know my friend reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. So I, I, I want to go ahead and um, what is your, if you want to, you can share your views, political views. You don't have to have anything particular because I'm the kind of person that doesn't really give a fuck anyways. So I have zero I really care about humanity. <laughs> I have zero political views. I um I was a lifelong non-voter, uh, never believed in the government. And um last year I actually came out of my status for one time and one time only to get the motherfucker that was in there out. <laughs> oh, fair. Trust me. I do not vote for shit, but let me tell you something. I proudly voted against that son of a bitch once, twice, and I will do it a thousand times if necessary. In fact, yeah. it is not Trump, so people just don't know. Yeah. Anyone who is so fucking toxic that I feel they're a threat to humanity, I will vote against. But mm -hmm. let me tell you something else. I don't believe voting almost a shit. So, although I don't feel it's very, because you know what I say? This is my motto. My motto is not like some anarchists that don't vote or whatever. I say, vote, and then go out in the fucking street and do something for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And as you see, I do it. it was, I think someone the other day said, oh, I, I think it's extreme that you were talking about getting a gun because of, the, of this incident. Oh, really? Because I'm not a leftist that's like well-known and out in the street in the public constantly causing issues <laughs> and challenging yeah, like poetry. <laughs> Doesn't it doesn't this recent thing show that uh one requires some form of self-defense against the right or like yeah, the I'm fascists not gonna let that are going to I mean, they're gonna go out there and murder people in the street? Well, somebody needs to defend themselves. Yeah, I mean so that, that, obviously <laughs> I, I this is this is what I understand. I would love nothing more than peace, peace, and nothing more but, but peace. So peace and love and kindness. I want everyone to get along. I want yep. bigots to stop being bigots. I don't want to kill them. I don't even want Trump supporters to die from COVID. I hope they fucking wake up, realize they're in a cult, go get, get some the vaccine and get back, <laughs> you know, maybe a vaccine or two and start wearing a mask. And I, this is what I have to understand. I, I hate this. Look, I'm an anarchist as hell, more than everything else. I'm serious. After my fucking life of abuse, I cannot stand. I don't even like women that I'm attracted to and want to have sex with to just randomly touch me without permission. Because I feel like then I don't own myself. It's just that's how anarchist I am. I'm very anarchist. But yet I love the mask thing. No problem with that. No problem with the vaccine. This is what I think is crazy. I have no problem with clothes either. And I'm a nudist. I, I have I have no problem being naked all the time. I, in fact, I lived at news resorts for. Seriously. I, in fact, that's what I want to do. In fact, if I become rich, I could buy a news resort. <laughs> Because I fucking love the shit. I wanted that's my retirement. That's my but anyway, I'm just saying. No, it's, it's a, this is a good point. But yet I wear clothes. Why the fuck would that happen? Right. Why? <gasps> mm, maybe because Damien realizes I don't own the world. Holy fucking shit. There's other people <laughs> that have rights. Well, whoa, I, my rights. I think you just hit it on the head start, there. You know? So <laughs> like, this. Uh, should I just think, should I stand in the street and nudism now, you know, or some kind of really seriously, that's what they're acting. They don't realize how, because would they support me? Cause they say no rules. I thought we start to take off clothes. All right, cool. No rules. I'm all cool with that. Well, I, think <laughs> you, it out. I think you hit it on the head when you said that you, you don't, you realize that you don't own the world. Oh. The people that are at the anti-maskers, they don't realize that they, they think, think that everything belongs to them. It's their yeah. world. <laughs> this is what I really think is crazy. Just this is the kind of mentality. But it really, this is all this actually used to people that don't think that we're getting off on a tangent. No, no, no. This shit started seven thousand years ago, and we're going to talk about it. <laughs> and if you read the blog, you will fully fucking understand that this is not new. This is not an aberrant thing. This is not oh some random society going amok. No, this has been the plan for seven thousand years, and it only got worse after five. Because it came quantified before that seven to seven to five, it was basically unorganized, and then by five, it was absolutely organized. It was state empires. Before that, there's no such thing. And and, and but anyway, so so the issue though, like I said, is still today because it is this mentality. Like I love saying, I I I, I post 
the memes. This is and someone goes, Oh, you don't get that many likes on your meme. I go, That's <laughs> activism. I share the same memes all week long, and I do it every fucking day, and I've done it for years. But you know why? Because nobody gets the simplest fucking shit. Like, I don't know, nationalism is not good. Yeah, kindness is good. I mean, some things you just <laughs> gotta keep saying because I don't know. <laughs> It seems bizarre to me, but it's not second nature. You know, just like the like I said about the clothes thing. You, you don't have an argument, people. Oh, no one's going to tell me what to do. Good. I'll take all my clothes off. When would you like me to start? I'll go show up at every one of your rallies naked. Oh, it's, it really says something. Box? I'll wear a mask, but no clothes. So There you go. <laughs> yeah. It and really they, says something. Yeah, and they, yeah. Oh, boots. Yes. So people know because of being the disabled the way I am, I almost have to wear boots. If I don't, if I try to wear like no shoes stuff. Yeah. Damien doesn't get away with that more than like maybe to the grocery or back or something. And then I would like, couldn't walk for a week. <laughs> It'll be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so because it has to do with stability because of the truck accident, my foot was on the brake and oh. the truck popped up four feet in the air and then slammed down like this. And it just pile drive my 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 whole my foot. So it had scar tissue all around all the joints. I mean, so the guy said it was the worst scar tissue because I had surgery on it, which actually, believe me, 80% of the pain went away. Oh my god, it used to be terrible. Like crying and shit. Like, oh. Anyways, I don't get on about me. But <laughs> well, I had to get just I mean, I'm very easy to get distracted. <laughs> but but you know what? You can always know you're doing good, right? There's in, in group situations, there's what I don't know if you guys know, but it's forming, which is what we first did when you tell names. Storming, that's when you kind of start, you don't really trust each other, you don't know. You like you all <laughs> laughed. See, if you both laughed and we all laughed, that's actually called performing. That is the highest state of a group experience, is performing. Okay. If you, and it's also the easiest to stop because the moment that I told you about it, it stopped. <laughs> That's how easy performing stops. But anyways, but 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 I, I could do it all the time because I like. But my goal is not to actually manipulate what we're talking about. But I, I want to get back to the thing. I was just trying to show people that you don't realize that all these things you do, you think, oh, it's all nothing. Oh no no no, it's like programming our us. Yes. <laughs> you, yes. Like when when you like, like people go, well, Damien, you, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You see all this stuff, about feminism and stuff. You don't like, oh, I could need to be hit, said all the time. I know women are as good as men. I go, right. Men are as good as women. Totally agree. Totally. Men are as good as women. Totally agree. They go, why do you say it like that? I don't know. What did I say? <laughs> well, you said men are as good as women. Well, isn't that what you said? <laughs> no, I said women are as good as men. <laughs> uh, what is the difference? <laughs> Why is there a difference? I thought you said they're the same. Oh, right. what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. But see, now that I have a problem with. <laughs> but so anyways, yeah. that's why I got to say it all the time because I go, sexism is that evil weed that gets in the garden of eating the well-tended mind. I see it all the fucking time. You know what's so crazy to me? You can't go on TV and say the N-word, but you can go on TV and make fun of women. No problem. Nobody even gives a fuck. In fact, they'll laugh. They're like, oh, is that good? Great. They're like, no, it's fucking horrid. Vile, sexist bullshit. So, no. Yeah. No. But, anyways, but like I said, also that stuff too. This is what you, for me, uh, my understanding of historical. So, capitalism in farming needs all this stuff in a sense. Just think you're farming, you, you can get this new thing that you couldn't really ever do before. And that's called like storage. And when storage happens, you get surplus. And that could mean, it should mean, really, like in a socialist world, nobody ever has to suffer. The yeah. world is wonderful. No, that's not really what happens. What happens is one person went, fuck, what if I control this? Yeah. <laughs> I can impose scarcity. <laughs> what if I tell people there's not enough for everyone? Like you just said, which is exactly what they did do. And yeah. they would do this. They would they would have like 10 years, but go, yeah, we'll give you one month at a time. No, not this month. But they still have 10 years. We gotta make sure. You know, of course, they're fine always. But that's billionaires. And so I'm just saying this shit is not the fucking new. Like, what the fuck? This the elite bullshit. 
And slavery have also gone together because elite require slaves. Ah, and elite are always put at the top on hierarchies. And like I told you before, I laugh at atheists. Like, do you realize hierarchy is a religious term? It has to do with the priest ordering the rites or the president of the sacred rituals. Well, part right. of that sounds atheist to you. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> and oh, I also want to say that I, I apologize to the world because my mom actually is the linear band pottery culture, the farmers that fucking gave us capitalism. And my father is Yama and relates also to the, the Northern Asians that came and killed everybody. So you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, my family. I was like, I, I really found that I went, oh my God. Oh, damn, I'm both of them? I'm like the shit and the shit. No, <laughs> I'm, not I'm not saying that people, I, what I meant by shit is I meant the violence. I, my family is very violent. So, I, and I seem to be prone, like all my family is almost like psychopaths, sociopaths. I mean, or certainly like they're not high functioning empaths. Let's put it that way. <laughs> So, and then I, then I go look at my genetics, right? Like, what could, what could history, you know? And I go, oh, one of the worst form of the Germans, right? The, the worst form of the, the, the farmers. And then the, the most violent warlords from the north came together. And that's what made me. That my, my, my family <laughs> is those two. I was like, well, no wonder. Holy shit. <laughs> well, now we know. <laughs> I'm a fucking berserker. That's what it is. There you go. <laughs> Damn. Anyways, but I, but this one person, just so people know, I also don't see that as a good thing. So I wasn't. I, I was joking just to be fun, but I actually and not, and not. I wasn't trying to make fun of other cultures either. I was just trying to make an issue about violence. Really, I realize that's actually a form of weakness. It's not a form of strength. Man, the strongest stuff I've ever done is had kindness in the for, in the face of, of adversity. It is the hardest thing in the fucking world. So, and, 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 but you know, capitalists didn't want what's hard and fun. Oh. They wanted what was <laughs> so easy that they were stealing. So, and slavery. Like I, I, I gave you guys some articles, and we're going to talk a little bit about it. But slavery was uh, probably started maybe eleven thousand or ten thousand. Or maybe nine thousand, very lightly. Right. Probably still related to elites because elites need slaves. And it's also, they say, or it looks like maybe four thousand years ago, everybody started getting the eunuchs, where they're cutting off genitals. Right. But I don't know that that's where it started. My thought would be, sometime between the seven thousand and the five thousand is a massive amount of violence towards you know like seventeen or nineteen women for every one man. So. I mean, somehow, but this is what I don't know. Are they slaves? And their thing too, like in, 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 in original Egypt and some of the, even in France, so I know it's similar behavior because it's a similar warlord mentality from the North Asians. So this, because that's, what, the farmers were different kind. They were also killers, but they were doing a different kind of killing and more like enslaved. They wanted slaves to work farms. Where these other people wanted slaves because they're elites, and we're going to build a you're going to build a mountain for us, and then put us on top as gods, as the elite, and then you basically have to work and toil, and then come and give us free shit. So, you know, capitalism, <laughs> or at least you know, I, I said to the one guy, sort of, yeah. You know, look, it's the arcane version. I'm not, yeah. not say it's the freaking fully developed. <laughs> yeah. art, well, because to me, it's 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 the idea of product. It's the idea of labor. It's the idea of taking labor purely for profit and not caring about any consequence at all. In fact, like all capitalists, they want as cheap as possible. So slavery. So capitalism loves slavery. Capitalism also loves racism because capitalism wants elites to stay in power. That cannot happen if the populace is working as one. They yeah. want everything. That's like they also want. They they love giving to the Republicans or whatever. Even maybe some Democrats. They want. They want to cause as much. That was funny. They always blame Russia. I'm not saying Russia doesn't do shit. But are you fucking kidding me? American companies do way more bullshit in our really? government than Russia is doing. Yeah. And you guys act like we need to worry about Russia. Fuck. Okay, a little bit. But how about like the the we people we know 
are involved in politics and doing shit. Like I think that that one thing we're trying to vote in that 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 one chick actually said, and nobody got mad. See, I couldn't have been quiet, but that's why I couldn't be a politics because I would be like, oh, excuse me, the fuck did you just say? You said you won't give a dime or a penny taken away from the rich. Oh yeah, Kirsten Cinema. I would have said then it's my goal to burn your candidacy to the ground. There we go. And I, she's I, supposed I, to be on the like the I, 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 good I, side, right? Like she's I, I'm just saying, I would I thought I would have said to her, I would have said, Well, then I guess I'm gonna have to take it my goal in life to burn your candidacy to the ground. Because anybody that can say that out of their mouth is so freaking bought by the lobbyists. You're not in the long, even should be even working and saying you're for the people. So get out of here. But so, I, would- uh, I often think of it as in terms of the way that they frame corruption in other countries. Like oh, yeah. it's corrupt for uh, such and such a government to be paid for, you know, and collect money at their own household. But in America, it's called lobbying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's just like I, I read an article before where they, um, I think it was Berkeley, and they did a study on how often the Americans actually get what they want from like Congress. It's like 3%. And, and, and we're, and we're 3%. And you guys are like, well, if we don't fight, the deal won't do enough. I'm like, they do 3%. I mean, pfft. I'm not saying that that's a little bit. It, it, Go out in the street and do some real activism. That's why I say, dude, come on. Three percent. Come on. They're not doing their plan of us getting better. It will be so far in the future. It's like, you know, the year 3000. <laughs> when, when we have to float in cars because there's no more land. It's all ocean. <laughs> We're visited by aliens. They're going, what did you do to your planet? <laughs> Well, I just didn't want to give up my GTO. <laughs> no, billionaires had to go to space. Uh, yeah, no, billionaires had to go to space. <laughs> don't you know we all have to suffer so billionaires can go to space? I mean, we built our they, society around individuals in cars and not public transit. And we need to make sure that no billionaire ever pays a dime in taxes. Please. <laughs> you know, come on. Seriously. Anyways, so... <laughs> <laughs> like that guy wanted to say he didn't pay taxes. Oh, come on, please, dude. Look, I'm anarchist. I don't have a problem with taxes. No, I don't find is this is this what you say? Taxation without representation. Oh, but see, I don't want you to represent. Anyways, you don't. Three percent, you don't. Anyway, so it wasn't like uh, you were ever doing what we needed. But so, Diana, <clears throat> could you go ahead and um, read? So I know you're gonna. Uh, you want uh, me to start? Yeah. Okay. Let me pull it. Okay. Sorry. I had to swap from that one to this one. So no problem. (laughs) Or anarchists. It it, it, it ain't like I have some big, strong rules. (laughs) I hope not. (laughs) Okay. So um, in a primitive communist society, the productive forces would have consisted of all able-bodied persons engaged in obtaining food and resources from the land and everyone would share in what was produced by hunting and gathering. And, there was- oh, sorry, I can add to that. And not only that, but they took deep pride in, in providing for others. This is something that today's society doesn't seem to fucking grasp at all that you can feel good helping people. I, it's crazy. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm just wanted to make that comment. They're not probably saying there that they, that the cultures feel joy and just like if you ever gave a gift you understand yeah go ahead sorry there would be no private property which is distinguished from personal property such as articles of clothing and similar personal items because primitive society produced no surplus what was produced was quickly consumed and this was because there existed no division of labor hence people were forced to work together well, I, I don't like that we're forced to because once again, if you ever see their society, they're fucking happy and, and the weak ones can sit there and be lazy and they go and they welcome them and, and go do stuff for them and can't wait to serve them. So you're really not gra- I'm just making a comment. You're not. Don't think of our fucked up society as how they do things. I'm telling you, it's right. nothing like us. It's better. 
They weren't forced to work together the way that we're forced to go to work or else we'll starve. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good that's the idea. Yes, you're correct. See, Corey right. knows how to do that. Yeah. Thank you for editing Damien's comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, but because well, like, I'm just telling you how I, the, the how I understand the, the indigenous society and, and or you know, especially prehistory, how they're interacting is so he- much more healthy, really, until seven thousand. Yeah. So much, yeah, men and women, they didn't like, like, like I said, even Chattahoyak, right? So they had men and women, in a sense, segregated, sort of. But like, it's more like separate cults of the same religion, kind of. Just a bit, and the people are like, oh, it's weird. No, not really. Think nuns and priests. Do they live together? Mm-mm. No. The only difference is these people would have sex once in a while. They're probably poly or whatever. <laughs> so it. Well, because uh, the kids would live in multiple houses and stuff. So, but, but once again, this, this society doesn't have all this religious bullshit that we do now of all these are rules. It's moralistic. Right. I still think people, we're going to get in a different video. I already gave you a little info just because I knew I was going to address this. Because we start talking about gods and power and structures, and you have to understand, do not think the moralistic Jesus or whatever that we think of now is how these people, even if they had a god, would have been. Right. Even if his name was Jesus, it would, it would, Nothing, nothing like what you're thinking. Nothing. The, the impact on your life would have been like 10%. Mm-hmm. Where now it's like 90. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's That's not how it was, man. God was like a... In fact, to me, I see it as the, there was no deities, right? And then, then about 13,000 men started to be glorifying themselves as the leader cult. But it, it mildly was effective in the fact that it wasn't super toxic. It was just like, I'm special, I'm glory, but let's all work together. So it wasn't, <laughs> oh, I'm just making a comment. So I don't see it as super at 13. It wasn't, it didn't start super toxic. It was right, toxic, right. but not super toxic. And then it slowly got more toxic and then it became men only. So men were, because at first women were, were doing the religion. Because you can understand, hunter gathers. This helps you, I think, grasp what I'm saying. Hunters was one cult, gatherers is another cult. Who makes alcohol? Gatherers. Why do women make alcohol? Gatherers. Why is the religion all about women? Gatherers. Are we getting it? So then later we get men because they're horse rider, warrior, totem, you know, whatever. There's a whole different thing that North mm-hmm. Asian. So okay. they, but they smash together these two kind of cultures. But like I told you, the ones that jump from the Bal- Turkey to the Balkans stays relatively almost gets more feminine at first then it goes into like um in the Serbia or whatever but like it starts moving towards germany hungary and the more it gets towards germany the more um i should say that word the more um toxic it becomes i wasn't say evil but that's not probably entirely or, accurate <laughs> yeah but i was just thinking me because i think when you freaking kill and torture people you're fucking evil but I was saying maybe I shouldn't say it like that. Toxic. They were certainly become the numbers. The more they were going, the more because it also, if you look on the map, they were getting more away from the where the original religion was. They're going away, 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 away. So the most farthest away became the, the one that was the most toxic. This one here, but it's so it's but but, but um, let me ju- I jumped too fast actually. But I told you first there was nothing right. So then it's clan leaders. So there's still nothing. No gods. Clan leaders are glorified. That's why at Gobekli Tepe, the, the oldest stuff is these big statues with men and they're a freaking dog. Yeah! Right? Man! And, and then at 11,000, there's graffiti of a naked woman. I think. And, they're, the, the, and the, the um, archaeologist was like, oh, yeah, see, that doesn't even matter. Somebody came and did graffiti. I don't even think that was part of the thing. I'm like, Exactly. It's graffiti. But just think, did they destroy the graffiti? <laughs> Are you telling me that someone has a temple and you come and do graffiti in your temple and I let you do it? Does that sound like it's really graffiti the way you're thinking of it? What you mean is a new religion showed up. Yeah, there's a cultural context there, right? Yeah. So I was like, no, 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 step the fuck back. That's not right. Think about, slow down, think. It shows up. It's not damaged. Even when they bury the fucker. So like a long time later, they keep it there in the thing protected. 
don't tell me that that shit doesn't matter. So that, I, I just, I just, anyways, that's just my, my own brain. I look at the facts and I just think, does this seem reasonable? Does this place good in the facts? Would this seem to be the, and what's the most, re, you know, like if I said, I think God did it. You'd be like, what the hell? How did you get there? You know, but that's what I'm saying. Right. People don't get there's jumps in logic. You should jump very, very slow, very, very slow and slow down. So when you go back and go, did I really jump the right jumps? But so and I, I like to do that. Think about it. I, I used to I pick an idea like in a balloon. And I just let it float. And I just think, where would this thing fall? And let just think about it, let it decide almost. But thinking of this thing in the structure, like if you're takes them apart you always need to take one piece and then another but you can't take the whole thing at once so you start thinking this way that's how at least how i do it i'm trying to help <laughs> <laughs> and don't don't feel bad you can't think on me because i i know i, I really have you know, I'm good at this but i'm just trying to show you some techniques that i use that help me make it easier is is not what i what i mean by the, way, the balloon in a sense is remove bias stop you stop what you think is a good matters just think if I am this thing, how would I feel? What would I yeah. do? Like the thing that the thing that popped out to me right away when you mentioned graffiti is, uh, and then of course, whoever's looking at it is saying, well, well, this is meaningless. It's just graffiti. Well, but why did you just dismiss this thing? Well, I, nowhere, yeah. Was it not right? there? Was it not, <laughs> but, well, they don't totally dismiss it, but they try to like, oh, but it doesn't matter that much. Well, I, it's not the main but thing. It, I go, yeah. But that should tell you something. I, I, I agree with them. If someone says that's the main thing, they're wrong. It starts sure. all men. I, I get it. And even they would go, yeah, it starts all men. Yeah, I, I agree. We're not arguing. You're just not grasping. I'm saying, okay. And you saw it change. How about this? After it does that, all of them are circles, right? All circles. Here's another thing people think about. All circles. Circles. Three circles, right? And then a cube. And guess what's inside the cube? It's a totem of a woman giving birth, like a bear giving birth to a woman giving birth to a baby or some weird thing. But anyways, so now the graffiti became a new religion that we know is new because it's square boxes, not round circles. So it's a totally different mentality. Okay. In fact, Asians have what's called inside the outside the cube. You know, like they're glorious sacred city in china or whatever inside and outside the holy or whatever that all relates there's plenty of shit to go read believe me yeah. <laughs> unfortunately that's not really too people understand i fucking hate religion i do not even like reading at all i do not read for fun i find it to be the most important thing that personally to do to read to, no I, I i'd rather just sit in a jacuzzi and enjoy life i mean seriously I, i'm fucking lazy I mean, I'm not lazy. I go do stuff, but I'm saying my personality would be, who gives a shit? But I go, Ooh, but I know I can help. I just keep thinking that oh, I know I can help, though. Mm -hmm. I got it. I know I can help. I then I need to help. That's what really got me from college. Why I just dropped everything because I was doing amazing. In fact, there's no doubt in my mind I, I would be rich as shit. And I was, I, I was, I was fucking so good in school. It was like embarrassing to the other students and even the teachers. <laughs> but the, the thing for me was, is this what I want to do? Like, oh, you could be so great, you could be so rich. And I thought, how many people are I going to help counseling? Like five, 10, 100, 300? Is that enough fucking people with how much ability I think I have? I think that's a waste. I, that would be selfishness. Even though I still would be helping, could I not really help more, a fuck lot more, like a, almost the whole world, if I really tried? And I'm like, then I, I, to me, and my wife hates it, by the way. She, well, she likes helping people, but she feels like my desire to save the world is insane. And I go, but imagine if you, just say, ethically, imagine if you realized I could do it and you fucking didn't. I don't know. I just, I, I can't live with it. Maybe you can. I couldn't. That's why I stopped, fucking dropped everything. I said, I'm going to do it all for free. I'm going to do the one thing that no one's expecting nobody i can't tell you how many times i have thought about getting off of all social media and all i have left anyway is is twitter but i can't tell you how many times i've thought about it because it's so emotionally draining 
but it's, it, it's always that one person that you might help, you know, that keeps you going, you know? Well, and then people need to know, a lot of people have helped me. I was going to get yeah. off of, when I first started, I only had 73 people, right? Yeah. I mean, I didn't yeah. know if I have that many on now on Twitter, but I actually had thousands before yeah. I took off. At Facebook, I had 50,000 in my group, 10,000 on my, my thing. I had another 8,000 in my um, other group. I had 4,000 right. in my other group. And then I'm out of several groups, several things. And then on LinkedIn, I had 9,000 people and like 50% of them were probably religious, which is really great. And they loved me. And, but anyway, so, but that doesn't even matter. Even if I had a million, it doesn't, I have 80,000 on my, my blog to follow. But that, but that really, really the, the stuff that's in there, I don't know how, I don't have 5 million. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have explained religion like nobody in the history of the world. No, not just now, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. Period. I, I wouldn't mean, share your shit if you didn't, Damien. No, I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying. And archaeologists <laughs> have thought otherwise, and then read like like just half yeah. with their blog, and they just go, "Oh shit." Yeah, here yeah. here I was. I was like, "Oh, I'm going to go in and research all this, and I'm going to write a book." And then here comes Damien. I'm like, "Holy shit, I'm not writing this book." <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> Too well, much. <laughs> He already knows it all. Let him write the book. <laughs> well, no, but, but, but I did tell you, and I tell you everybody this, take my stuff and do more. Take my stuff and what, if you go help people. I did not do this just to glorify myself. I right. did this to help humanity. Take right. this if I, my goal is to take religion down. It's the only hope Amen, we have. Amen, brother. I'm with you all. Only that. hope we have. That's yeah. it. Because mm -hmm. this is the thing. This, I, I try to feel like, why is Because I, I care a lot about being a socialist and anarchist, believe me, a lot. Because at the end of the day, that's what's really going to hit the road. Not not my belief or disbelief. Could be fuck all. Could... But for me, <laughs> I get it. Mm -hmm. It's easy to manipulate people that are already conned. Yeah. So it's also easy to manipulate people that have been taught to be not powerful. All mm -hmm. of you are powerful, including yeah. you and you, yeah. everybody. It's just fucking bullshit. They've lied to us. Oh, gosh, yes. This is it's a complete takeover of your identity. So, so you don't basically. Even have one. You don't even, you have that. No. You don't even yeah. have a you. I, I, no, I, I, that's right. I understand that more than so, some people because I was so abused. I was neglected to the state that I wasn't even raised. I did not brush my teeth. I did not, I did not bathe. I go weeks not bathing. I, I didn't even know. I was like seventh grade and, and could not read a clock. I didn't know the difference between the hour and it. I mean, I mean, to think about it, what I've come from, but th that's the kind of abuse that I suffered. Mm hmm and yet I can be kind. That's why I, I just don't buy it. People are like, oh, you don't understand my life? Fuck set up. You read my life, motherfucker? My life was horrid. I was I cannot, at birth. I can understand how some people's lives have led them to be unsuccess, quote unquote, unsuccessful under capitalism. Oh, but yeah, not, I'm not, their I'm life not, has I'm not a victim blame. But capitalism yeah. are a victim. I'm, I'm just saying, but this thought that that is allowing you to stay a victim, I don't buy. I, and you, and how you, you treat others. Right? You are will to power. You don't ask, can I have human rights? You fucking demand it. That's yeah. it. Period. Right. You don't say, oh, well, if it's convenient, can women be equal? What the fuck are you even talking about? If you right. don't let women be equal, I'm fucking going to fight you. What the fuck? <laughs> Well, and, and the power structure doesn't allow you to just ask for it. They won't give it to you if you just ask for it. You they won't give to, it to you if you demand it. You I have to take it. <laughs> I saw a person goes, Damien, with the stuff you say, you might die. I go, do you think I ever thought that I was not going to die? Well, of course. Are you fucking sure. stupid? <laughs> I knew every moment that I put myself out there as an atheist or put myself out there as socialist or put myself out there as Antifa or put myself out there as intersex or put myself out there as genderqueer or put myself out there anything other than a straight heterosexual male who is Christian. 
I am putting myself in danger. Right. Yeah. And I always go, as if a woman could stop being a woman. She's always in danger. Ever seen women? They're always in danger. Because, fuck, they get raped, you know, in public. They get raped in fucking jobs. They get raped by the police. What the fuck? By the fucking... You're supposed to be the supposed to good guys, right? Good guys with a gun. And yet they're the fuckers that do that shit too. So just imagine you're worried about me. Fuck, worry about women. I can turn it off because, hey, most of the time I'm a big fucking dude. Scary as fuck. Most people don't even fucking want to talk to me. Right. It's everybody else has got to worry. <laughs> I don't need to worry about shit. I go around people fucking. In fact, I, my wife has seen this. It, it, it also just understand. There can be someone taller than me. My presence is so fucking vicious that everyone knows I'm the leader. They just fucking know. I'm telling I've been, I've, I, if you think I'm telling you, I'm bullshitting. I'm not even, like, I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't care about that. Nope. But I'm saying so, because I've gone to like strip clubs and like people will come to me, hey man, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm there. To not the bouncer. I'm not the bouncer. Dude. <laughs> oh, I thought you were in charge. Or they start, I've been at strip clubs, they start giving me money. I go, why are you giving me money? Well, because, you know, I got too close. I'm like, I'm not the boss here. What the fuck? <laughs> but I'm just saying, so I'm just making a comment that, but that's why I told you before. And you know what I realized? Unlike the sick fucking assholes, if I have great power, man, I got great responsibility. I hate it, actually. I hate that I have this responsibility. But you know what? I'm an ethical person, so it just happens. <laughs> I, I don't see I don't see how the fuck I can get outside of it. Like I told you, if I had the ability to end all poverty, and yet I didn't, it, can I call myself a good person? I'm serious. I can, and I don't. So I said I realized we got to get that message up to Elon. Well, I'm fine. <laughs> right. I'm like, hey, I'm, I told you I'll be friends with him, and I will surprise <laughs> that motherfucker. Watch me. Yeah. So, but I, when I said, by the way, I don't, I don't like doing it with, um, but it, so people know, I honestly don't want to be friends with a billionaire. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, you're not safe. Please come be my friend. Yeah. And I don't mean by safe as in I'm going to hurt them. I'm going to destroy your thinking. <laughs> Brutal. But you're welcome to be my friend. But, but I'd say I don't have that same thing with, with street preachers or, or pastors, anybody who, and unless, you are a humanitarian because then I'm not actually connecting on religion. I'm connecting your humanitarian. But if you're not, and you're some fucking, why would I want to be friends with you? Seriously. And, they, and don't, that, they don't connect on a level of humanity. They, 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 know, they truly, like, yeah. I mean, because they honestly believe that they're superior and they're operating in this mm -hmm. very animistic realm, you know, I mean, that they're not. I will not be friends if if someone if I find out someone is a Nazi, they're getting off my friends. Period. Yeah, but you're a and racist. That is one hundred percent reasonable. You're sexist. <laughs> fucking gone. You're a fucking yeah. homophobe. Fucking gone. I, yeah, I don't. Absolutely. I, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't fucking like uh, buy and trade human rights. You either fucking do the whole deal or you start to look like scum to me. Right. But so let's go back to the real scum that started this shit. Can you please read some more? <laughs> A few things that existed for any length of time, that means of production, tools, and land, housing, were held com communally. In Engel's view, in association with matrial local residents and matrial Neil, is that matrial Neil well, anyways, descent? Well, 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 just, well, to make it easier, he's just basically talking about, like, say, if I were to say feminine, like I was saying gatherer. The, the, the yeah. women do, do, are, are, and it's not just women, because third gender could have done uh, the gathering too, but it meant you were that type of something. And everything okay. too is that they might have actually, like I was saying before, lived in separate dorms. And then they probably had like a dorm leader, mm -hmm. like led the dorms. And I think that's where you get into that elite shit. So maybe at first it wasn't really about that. It's like Mother Superior or whatever, Pope. You know, mm -hmm. seriously, you gotta think this. not exactly, but it's dissimilar it's because they're living in dorms and they're having like this hierarchical structure. And I right. think that's where it, the leader cult comes out of, in a sense, is this totemistic, shamanistic, where it was like separate gender clans, sort of. But like I said, there was some mixing because as long as you acted like that, you're that. So they didn't mm. have to with trans people or, you know, intersex or anything. In fact, okay. intersex are probably seen as, spe as special 
probably trans too, and and later um, homosexual, but maybe even then, I don't know. Yeah. But um, so the uh, it was just like there's a, they, 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 there's a lot of these um, phalluses. Now I think they could have used these phalluses as wands, just so you know. People think that they're dicks and stuff. I, I don't I don't think they have to have been that because some of them look like it wouldn't have been like the the greatest looking tool to do that. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Some look like maybe that that would be what they're for, but my my thing was I, that is thinking sexual, and I do, I think that we're like there's things that people say sometimes they go, oh it's fertility, yeah. that that doesn't really help you understand. So I I you won't hear me say that a lot because I don't like it's not that's like so broad it's it doesn't help a lot. Like what does that mean? Because it's not about sex. So then what, what do you mean by fertility? You know what I'm saying? Well, it's well, fertility rights. Once again, what do you mean by that? Well, because like worshiping the moon because of because of the cycles of, of their um, periods. Why did you just say that? Don't say fucking, you know, the other, I wouldn't have known what you're talking about. I'm, I'm just making a comment that it, I know that sometimes <laughs> how they talk, even archaeologists, I'm like, dude, no one's getting this. I, 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 didn't, get this. I didn't know extra shit. <laughs> but I nothing wrong. I really, by the way, I just want to see. I thank you, all archaeologists, anthropologists, ethnographers, prehistorians, historians, anyone working in this kind of stuff, uh, uh, DNA, because I learned a lot from that, and, and genetics and stuff, and um, also people who do languages, because I've had to learn a ton of shitloads of that. I really appreciate all your fucking, oh my God, I would not, especially languages. How in the fuck you do that, man? That's like mind numbing. I appreciate it. I, I was just saying, man. But I, I, as I said to people, it's not that that I, and I am a genius or but it's, that's not why. I could be a genius, but if I don't have any data, how the hell can I figure anything out? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't want you to just give me, you know, like I get all the credit for figuring out. Well, I put together everything these archaeologists have already been doing. They mm -hmm. just don't right. work together enough. They don't, there's not there's, there's there's not like they all work together. This is you know, and sometimes <laughs> they're so specialized they don't know anything about even the area that like let's say so, so oh, i work in roman pottery you're like oh you must know a lot about rome oh no nothing about rome just just work specifically pottery. in roman pottery well, only only <laughs> only in this one area you know or whatever you know yeah the nice or something you know, or whatever rome only 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 rome but only actually west side of rome because the east side was was more that or or whatever you know what i'm saying like i don't work in imperial palace rome i basically use pottery that was the bread of the people like, Oh my God. I mean, Bob, that's not, not a bad thing. I'm just, just made a comment. That's not a bad thing. But it sure makes it hard to understand the whole picture like me. Because you're you're so specialized. It's like looking at a microscope. Great, man. That's great for getting awesome detail. But fuck all for finding out what really happened. <laughs> Imagine trying to figure out what an elephant looked like by, by looking at like one centimeter off its skin. I mean, you could follow the whole damn elephant and maybe still not be able to figure out what the hell it is. Yeah. So I, 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 that's why I, I, I don't like when people are like, Oh, well, it's stupid or they don't want the truth. That's bullshit. They do want the truth more than probably even general science. Archaeologists fucking love truth. What they don't love, which is why they have no problem with me. <laughs> it wouldn't be at first. Cause they think oh, he sounds like one of those other fucking fools that don't know anything about prehistory. Just talk shit. And then they read my stuff and they go, damn, I just learned something. <laughs> but, right. but 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 those other guys, so they do sound I, I but you know, they always complain. You never hear me, but I thank those people. I, I, they're awesome. I have and they should challenge you. Are you kidding me? You say crazy shit and they don't challenge you. Are you sure they're a good scientist? What kind of a good scientist goes, Oh yeah, just feed me more <laughs> shit without facts and don't back anything up. Fuck, just keep bringing it on. I mean, I I in fact, I, I told you before, if I hear someone do that and didn't bring any facts in and then don't ever reference, or especially, I always know mine is not a good one. I don't hear them ever correct themselves. Oh, fuck, I wouldn't trust them. If you won't check yourself, how fucking I trust you? You don't yeah. trust you. Right. You don't trust you. I sure as fuck can't to me. Yeah. yeah. But, go ahead and you can read some more. Sorry. Okay. So descent and reproductive labor was shared. There would have been no state, these hard words, egalitarian and communist like hunter gatherer societies have been studied. You know and huh? You know what those two words are? Mm -mm. 
Okay. Which one? The egalitarian? Yeah, I don't egalitarian. know what that is. Egalitarian, it's basically, it's like a way of behavior. Like we're, we're behaving now at egalitarian. Who's the boss in a sense? I mean, who's better? It's like egalitarian is... Thing what are you trying to say? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're better, obviously, but I mean, I, I'm just making. You know, I'm, trying, I'm trying to blow up my ego, so don't, 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 don't affect me when I'm on my roll. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so the issue, the issue we have is, egalitarian is almost like socialism in a thing, or they certainly were very, very complementary, just like mutualism. That's why when people are like, well, how can you be a mutualism, a, a socialism, and a collectivism? I'm like. Those things all go together. Mutualism mm -hmm. is understanding that if I make it beneficial for both of you, you'll engage in the talk with a more vigor. You'll share it with more. You'll feel more proud about what we've done mm -hmm. than if it was just mm -hmm. all about me. Mm -hmm. And that, but to me, that's just how it should be. I mean, whether or not is it, they go, well, I'm better. I'm like, yeah. Have you really heard about how teams work? <laughs> just <laughs> work. <laughs> yeah. But so that's egalitarian in a sense. Just you agree. It's like mm. a team thinking that all of us benefit if all of us win in a sense. So okay. It's, it's, it's not a lot of fighting. And even fighting, they try to figure it out. So mm. that's egalitarian. And obviously, uh, go ahead and Corey and tell us what communism is because you're certainly more qualified than I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, certainly. <laughs> fundamentally, communism is all belongs to all. So your society is every citizen shares in the communal ownership of everything that that's right produces. yes right on okay you can keep reading so i, I, okay. just, I well because i really want i like education not just myself sure. everybody. And so i know that yes. like, that's why i can't like i'd watch some of these archaeologist things and they'd be like they want and if they're being accurate they'd be like it's a bifaced stone meeting both sides have chipped it's a bifaced so both faces means the both outsides because the core has to do with the solid middle piece. So mm. they start using all the, and a lith is like a broken off, sharp little shard, sort of, you know, they use like a knife. But anyways, they start talking all this, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, if you don't know, you're like, what the fuck are that? Stone tool. That would have worked for just fine, you know? But anyways, so go ahead. I, 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 just, I just don't feel it's education if we don't understand what we're talking about. Right. Agreed. Okay. And that's what I'm in this for, actually, because I don't know jack shit and I'm trying to learn. Um, OK, so. Where was I? Oh, I see. Um, Hunter gatherer societies have been studied and described by many well-known social anthropologists, including James Woodburn, Richard Lee and more recently, Alan Bernard and Jerome Lewis. Domestication of animals and plants following the Neolithic Revolution through herding and agriculture and the subsequent urban revolution was seen as the turning point from primitive communism to class society as it was followed by private ownership and slavery with the inequality that they entailed. In addition. And that happened 7, 000, after 7,000 years ago. So it stopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, so like when they were talking about um, the Neolithic revolution, I also hate when they use that because what they really mean is that now you do farming, farming religion, mm -hmm. farming culture, which which also included violence and slavery. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, someone's got to work your fucking crops. Fuck, do you think you're going to do it? Ha -ha. That wouldn't be a lead of you. So no, so they, they immediately said that, fuck, someone needs to go do work. Oh, let's go find someone. So they go steal. Capturing slaves was a new fad that happened because of that possession of both land that then passed right. down for the males, which is also sexist as fuck. But so, not that they didn't have women elite who also were sexist as fuck, or to mm -hmm. both women and men, but you know, or whatever. But mm -hmm. so, but the but the, the whole culture starts because, in a sense, there's a person says, "I can have something, and only I can have something." That's why I mm -hmm. I, I, I call it the seed of hate. Yeah, the seed of hate was put into the world when it said, "I." Only I can go there. Only I have this right. To me, that threw seeds of fucking hate into the world that we are 7,000 years ago that we're fucking still dealing with today. Yeah. Go ahead. 
In addition, parts of the population specialize in different activities, such as manufacturing, culture, philosophy, and science, which is said to lead to the development of social classes. Right, but that's they're not exactly they're they're <laughs> once again, they're I'm explaining it to you in the I know all the details and mm -hmm. who it is, where they came from, why they did, what they were thinking when they got there, what they did when they were there, who they met, mm -hmm. what they I mean, I almost had the whole freaking thing. Not totally, but because I could I well, I could look more, I just don't want to. But so but no, I, my point is we see exactly when you watch at that level. Because we're doing it like them, the details. But I'm I'm following the whole pattern. I'm like following them from Asia, following them. Oh, they're to Kazakhstan now. Oh, look, they passed the Middle East. They're now in the Balkans. Oh, look, they brought them, you know, uh, millet. Oh, now they're they, they've made it seven thousand years ago. Oh, they're murdering people in, in <laughs> Germany. Oh, oh, about forty people. Look at that. Oh, wow, they're making friends now. Warrior alliances. Oh, fuck, they got together and made capital. Mm. And then from mm. there, it goes <laughs> back to the Balkans, back to Turkey, over to the Sumerians, down to um, Egypt, up back to China, because, of course, a gift is only good if you give it back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm just kidding. It's there. But anyway, so that then capitalism 5,000 years ago goes to basically Siberia, right above North China. And then filters itself through Mongolia all the way down to China, basically for the next thousand years. It takes, you know, becomes hardcore. Five thousand years ago, they they, they they remind me. There's, there's a person who who follows me who uh, is a historian from China. He really did not like when I said that China has ancient history, and he's like, "That's the continent. It's not the country." I'm like, "Oh my god!" See, that's what I'm saying. I can't talk to you, fuckers. <laughs> You, you talk to the regular people like this. Say that's why no one understands anything. That's why you can actually say it in probably public, and they still not grasp any of this. You're talking. In a, they don't know that. I don't need to talk about land masses. People don't even know their own country, and you're asking about like I'm demanding they know land masses. I, I just you know that's that's fine. You're historians. I'm trying to deal with regular people. I'm an activist. I'm trying to get this finally get this shit from untouchables or whatever down to the regular public not because they're not untouchable because you're desiring not to explain it correctly you're worried so much that you're correct not that they're understanding right I care, I care a lot more that everyone understands that's what i was saying too sometimes someone said oh damien some of the times when you list things the numbers are just a little tiny bit different yeah well because i'm kind of like mm, ballparking it yeah. Because this is the point too. Is look how complicated it is. I mean, you guys have seen just a little tad of the extra stuff I know, right? I mean, you if you don't feel that, you feel feel feel. I'm not pushing it. Feel free to say that I'm wrong. A little tad. I wake up <laughs> well, every morning and I have little, like little. Uh, <laughs> chapters upon chapters and chapters <laughs> that I have to read through. Only a little, just a little. But I'm just saying, imagine <laughs> that is not even a beginning of what I know. Mm. And you feel overwhelmed. Could you imagine? I've yes. been doing your level every day, like you said, for the last 15 years. And you wonder why I said I'm tired? Yes. <laughs> yeah. exhausted. My mind goes, I don't want to read another book the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> but but, but again, I did all this for, for humanity. I, I, yes. I suffered. I like a warrior. I freaking did it. I read it. I read every. I hate philosophy too. I'm smarter than that. I got like read a philosophy book. Garbage. I, I, I love philosophy, but it's so boring. Well, because I go, <laughs> it's it's written too hard. It's written too high. It's written too obscure. It's written too unusable. Oh, really? So it's usable? Oh, please tell me very quickly what the Socratic method is. I want to hear you encapsulate it. <laughs> Nope. No such thing. I'll give you hammer truth. Hammer truth will destroy any philosophy that is up against. Any. You know why? Because I gave it its power. All you have to do is point the gun. Mm -hmm. It already gave you. You follow exactly what I said. It will work every time. 
You just have to do everything I said, including have no ego. Which, <laughs> that's a lot fucking harder. <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> that's the hard my, part. <laughs> that's why my, my way is both easy and almost impossible. Because it takes a level of character that few people are willing to give themselves to. Me, I'm willing to give my life. That's how I think. I I want to help the world. Because see that because because I go, I don't want Damien to get hurt. The next Damien, I, I don't want some kid born intersex and have religious parents that think he's a fucking demon and not even a human being, and treat him like shit and try to fucking starve me and abandon me and leave me and beat me and mm-hmm. and humiliate me and make fun of me and just and then a world that when I told all that goes yeah you're a guy you're big who fucking cares everyone's got bullshit shut the fuck up quit fucking whining you know don't be yourself quit fucking doing what, what we don't like and in fact you know how crazy the world is I like female glasses almost exclusively because they're usually better, <laughs> cooler, shinier. You know, they're more for my personality. They, that's what I want. Period. I don't. It's not that I even just be like. It's not that I go. Oh, I would like female stuff. No, I just go. Oh, I want that. And they go. Oh, I want girls. Shiny. Like, eh, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I went to Walmart and I bought these glasses with a big star on the side. I was I thought they were the shit. I, I had tons That's of awesome. because I fucking love them until I got blind and couldn't wear them no more. But I mean, because it's my personality. It's like the leopard print with big ass rock star, you know. Right. That's me. That's me. I'm a fucking rock star. Period. That's what I, I'm. I. But you know what? I took I like that one um, art I have that has me holding my head. Although I have a big head, <laughs> heart, and I realize that big head is worthless. Worthless. You know, I've seen people with intelligence be the meanest, most vile people I've ever. I don't even want to know them. So when people say like intelligence matters, I go, no, it doesn't. What you do matters. Intelligence doesn't mean fuck all. What you produce, all right? Producing, like, like we're reading, producing. What you produce. And so that's why I say, I want the story of my life to be filled with my humanity. That it's impossible for you to read it and not be inspired. But not because I'm trying to inspire you, but just simply because I want to be a good human being. I just, and I don't know excuses. I always, like my wife go, and you always, how do you do? I go, how many times have you punched a child? I never have. I don't know That's a you. big zero. Yeah. Have, and are you telling me that no child has ever done anything deserving to make you? Oh, no, they punch definitely. Them? Right. So, <laughs> I didn't say that. No, I said I didn't, I didn't do that. See, that's the difference. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to say is that. Your character should be so pure, so worthwhile, so of value. Like I said, I realize, and it's axiology is easy to do this because that's almost the goal, is to live a value-driven life. And it means that in every way possible. Go ahead. The fact that I value truth, the fact that I value the, you know right behavior and goodness and kindness and, and things that are you know justice and liberty, and equality these these are things you should feel not good if you don't champion to me yeah it shouldn't shouldn't be like oh i feel good because i champion like uh, you should feel like a piece of shit if you don't champion them to me what the fuck i mean i I, look to me i always go if the only rights that you fight for are your own then you actually don't even understand about rights because like i was saying about you know what if i wanted to push people my rights have to end somewhere. Your rights have yeah. to start somewhere. Yeah. Ethics, ethics in a social environment demands that we have some sort of an ethical behavior where we value rights. It's just yeah. even like people that you argue with in a sense, are they in your face? Like I said, they generally know they shouldn't, but why? Yeah. And they generally are okay with it, but why? Mm-hmm. No. You know, one of the reasons why I appreciate all of the effort that you've placed into learning all of this is because, um, you know, you don't feel like you are going to lose. I hate this isn't even how I'm trying to say it. You don't feel like you're going to 
be trampled over by someone's argument of your opposition, right? Right. If you have the facts. Right. And I pretty, you know, I went, by the time I came out of religion, um, I pretty much was on a standalone ba basis with, with my walk. You know, I, I was, I live in Alabama. I'm surrounded by Christianity. Holy and, God, I feel for you. I, yeah. I've stayed in Alabama before, was scared in a hotel. I told my wife, you know what? We've been here like five hours. Let's just leave. I just, yeah. I don't even want to be in Alabama. Let's get the fuck yeah. out of here. Right. It's like, Literally. if you don't, if you don't want any opposition, you know, from others, then you just need to keep your mouth shut and keep your head down and don't say anything. You're right. going to get, if you, when you go out in public, you're going to get asked just in random. It's almost like, how's the weather? You know, it, it's what church do you go to? That is literally like, how's the weather? You know, <laughs> well, I, mean, I always see that right there is the sneaky way, especially on jobs. Where yeah. You can ask someone what their religion is without actually asking. Because right. If, because the, they may correct you and say, oh no, I go to a mosque or I go to a, but you said church because you're leading the argument. You're you're yeah. throwing out bait. Yeah, exactly. But and I'm really good at when people throw out bait. I'd look at it and I go, "Hey, that looks like bait." I see. Yeah. I, I, you don't realize the power you take over somebody when you start telling them what they're doing. Right. When they're like, 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 because I, I, I try to do it before I, I teach people. When someone says like, "I'm fat," Damien, you're fat. And I go, are you saying that to be helpful? See, I just took their whole bullshit and I gave a dignity attack. They now feel morally obligated to like. Ugh. Right. Because let's just say he says, oh, I was just joking. Do you feel that it's good to go around and say jokes that could possibly offend or hurt other people's feelings? Yeah. Is that a good thing? Right. Well, you know, it could be good to joke. So it would be okay then. I don't want to get away with it. Yeah. If I joke right now about you and how yeah. worthless and foolish you are. Mm -hmm. That would be totally fine, right? Mm. But I'm just saying to see how I, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you, you cornered the person. And always, to me, it's like a push and pull. So yeah. if they push, I pull. If they pull, I push. Yeah. I don't. I and sometimes I'll do the opposite. They'll try to pull, and I'll run away. Yeah. Or sometimes I'll let things drop. Like say they'll still go. You're a faggot, and then I go. I'm still wondering. Are you going to give me some evidence? And I act like I never even heard that. And they go, "You're the. You know, this is." And I I act like I didn't even hear it. Yeah. So, and it's you know. <laughs> I'm trying to help people understand. You don't understand how psychologically powerful that is to people. Well, I mean, that, that's what you know. That's that's what I'm saying. Is one of the things that that occurs when people are first stepping out of the church is because they they're so insecure with who they are. You know, they don't even know they're clueless. That's I why remember. I was diagnosed dissociative. You know, I mean, they are literally clueless of who they are out apart from the church. And so, so they come out of it and, you know, they, they, they're pretty much trampled all over by, by the congregants, you know, telling them how they're going to hell or, you know, and then they, and they, they move on a little bit and they start realizing some things, but then they still have certain doubts. Like I saw a post today on Twitter, um, somebody who is newly removed from the, from the church, but married to a Christian and they made, they gave reference about how, um, the husband apparently said something like, I hope our son doesn't turn out gay. And, um, and she did not know how to respond. And, you know, but if, so I gave her the article that your friend, remember uh, me posting that article that your friend had written, Damien? Okay. Uh, I gave her that article. I said, you give them the facts. You're talking about the anthropologist that did this yeah. stuff about homo, yeah. homo normativity in Samaria or whatever? Right, and all of the well, because, all of the genders. Oh, yeah, I, because I sent you so much stuff that yeah, know, I myself have to think. Right, and I told her, I said, "Well, you just, you just, you give them the facts because yeah. they're in this delusional world that LGBTQIA plus two is a sin. You know that they're that they're being taken over and held hostage by Satan. You know, well, it's and, a or, or like me that I, being born intersex meant that I wasn't a human. 
Right. Or, exactly. Or whatever the fuck. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Because I was so, treated like, so, like I wasn't even part of the family. In fact, even to this day, my brother has said his mom. Because then yeah. their whole. But see, it's so crazy. He can say that and he doesn't even hear it. He doesn't yeah. even hear it. Because it's so normal to not include me in the family. It's yeah. become so the social norm. He says it to me, yo, you know, my mom. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, you mean like my mom? Because I was born first. It would be certainly <laughs> my mom first. And I was yeah. like, and this is the guy that I saved his life, taking him down the mountain as a, on, a, on my back in three feet of snow. Yeah. For five miles. He's alive today because of me. And yet he treats me like this. It's, yeah. It's, but, you know, is it his fault? This is what we're going back to the thing. We think it's us. But we do. It's not us. It's actually this programming that's been around. It's capitalism. Yes. We, we're like immersed in capitalism. And then we, we feel, I got, I'm depressed. Yeah. Who the fuck wouldn't be? You're a slave. And fuck, it should bother you. A fucking free person should be absolutely bothered by being a fucking slave. Yes. Yeah. And not having non-equality around you should always bother you. It bothers mm -hmm. the shit out of me. Go ahead and keep reading. You want me to keep reading? Oh, yeah. Peter Krop Kropotkin. <laughs> Kropotkin. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Argued that the elements of mutual aid and mutual defense expressed in the medieval commune and its guild system were the same sentiments of collective self-defense apparent in modern anarchism, communism, and socialism. From the high middle ages in Europe, various groups supporting Christian communists and commun communalist ideas were occasionally adopted by reformist Christian sects. An early 12th, 12th century proto-Protestant group originating in Leon, known as the Walded, Waldensian, Waldensians, held their property in common in accordance with the Book of Acts, but were persecuted by the Catholic Church and retreated to Piedmont. Right. So this goes back to the thing that I've said before. Capitalism is a parasite they hook the fuck itself on to first, in a sense, you know, when the, the meeting of the, the violent farmers, slave owners, because of the crops and lands, and right. then the violent warlords, in a sense, totemists, shamanists from the north, coming together. And then that two mentalities of war and kill and also slaves and land ownership. And, oh, yeah, you can see that's not a good Warlord and then capitalism, imperialism. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead. Around 1300 in, oh, excuse me, the, apost the ap apostolic brethren in northern Italy were taken over by Fra Dolcini Shino, who formed a sect known as the Dolcinians, which advocated ending feudalism dissolving hierarchies in the church and holding all property in common. The peasants revolt in England has been an inspiration for the medieval ideal of primitive communism with the priest John Ball of the revolt being an inspirational figure to later revolutionaries and having allegedly declared things cannot go well in England nor ever will until all goods are held in common. Right. And so, like, like, like I, I, I always use the word socialist because that's more accurate to what I am. But I have no problem being called a communist, nor do I think anyone being called a communist is a bad thing. So, mm -hmm. just so people know, like, mm -hmm. I, I don't specifically, but I also would admit that Corey knows this, and I've told people this. I have not read enough. Maybe I am a communist and just don't fucking know it. So, mm -hmm. just, just making that comment. I, I, I have, I truly <laughs> have not read enough. To make a very good judgment, I, I, I call honest. myself an anarcho-communist, but uh, uh, like I don't have the same beliefs as, say, a state communist, right? Mm -hmm. So it, well, it wait, depends wait, wait, on where you are yeah, in which, communism. Would you real quick, because I'm not even saying that I'm super. Like I said, you know my thoughts, but it's all it's my own. It's good. Can you tell us about that stuff a little bit? Just sure. I mean, uh, I, we've kind of discussed anarchism where we don't. There's no hierarchies. Uh, state is a tool of hierarchy where it places rulers above citizens. Uh, 
So anarchy is the opposite of that. We don't believe in that stuff. Uh, communism. I was going to say, don't stop. <laughs> yeah, communism is the ownership of all by all. So an anarcho-communist believes that there shouldn't be any social hierarchy as well as that all of the means of production and all of the resources and products of a society belong to all the people. Uh, and, and in a sense, we would distribute them to the people who need them the most and those of us who can work would continue to work and produce those things to, for the benefit of all of our society. Right. Um, so a state communist, uh, they believe in a centralized state apparatus where that state would do, or government would do the job of distribution of resources. Um, anarchists are more like into decentralization. We believe more in like small communities that communicate with each other rather than a broad straight state. Right. And, and I was going to say one thing that just my own personal thing about the like neutralism. So I like neutral banks because I, you're talking about giving out um, product or whatever. So to me, but the mutual bank should be in a sense, a commune. It's not, it's a non-profit. <laughs> right. So, so we fucking get straight non-profit and only for the benefit and it takes taxes and then gives it back and the people own it. So the people constantly own the entire bank that gives back everything and have control over everything that happens. Yeah, and like nobody, uh, credit <laughs> unions. No leader that runs it can can control it. So yeah, like credit unions are supposed to be banks right. that you, you are, get my they point. Are I, I owned just, by the people who have accounts in them. Essentially, my point is that when you do it in this, because I believe in mutualism, this this thing of making us work together actually puts mutual, um, not just aid. But it makes us feel mutually obligated to benefit each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a reciprocal altruism. There you go. Idea. It <laughs> inspires more reciprocal altruism. And yeah. I feel that since that altruism in general is a good pro-social behavior, I think that that is an excellent thing to do. And I do try to do pro-social behaviors because that's not my natural thing. But like I told you, I always go, yeah, and like, what am I just supposed to just do my nature? We don't, we're not supposed to try to be any better, right? No better. What the well, fuck? Well, and that is many people's argument for maintaining the status quo. Is they, that they go, they go, the human well, nature no, is this way. way. Just, yeah. <laughs> I, I know I have the way. I'm an alcoholic or I'm a sociopath or I'm an asshole. I go, but, but you say it as if you don't need to change. That's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. great. You're an asshole. Yeah. Now fucking change. Now do or something. Start though. working on it. Want to change. Yep. To me, the biggest thing that is not change, it's the willingness to change. It's not it because you could change well, it's like, fast. It's really the willingness to want to change. It's similar to like ignorance. Like ignorance itself is not like a big problem. You can deal with that. It's True. the willful ignorance. It's the denial of right. facts and the you know desire to stay as ignorant as possible. That's yeah. a problem. Why, <laughs> right. Which is why, like I told you, although I uh, don't like government. I will vote for the, the best outcome since I had live here. I mean, I, yeah, I, harm reduction, right? I, harm <laughs> Exactly. I'm a mutualist. <laughs> I'm trying to minimize all harm. Like what the fuck? Yeah. That's the whole point. Exactly. Go ahead and keep reading. So I like anything like that, but reducing harm. There's uh, there. The next part is just your discussion. Yeah. Oh, but then, well, we are, but, but the, the, when I put that, that we're actually, I never let you guys read. So <laughs> just go ahead. I just mean, I, it, it was just, to... yeah, it's just like, a, like saying that we're going to discuss and then we keep going. But I, okay, I so the whole time. you want me to go? Yeah. Okay. So um, understanding religion evolution is outlined by Damien Marie at Hope's Reason Speculations from the Evidence. Pre animism. Africa, Eurasia, at least 300,000 years ago. Animism, Africa, 100,000 years ago. Toto, tode, totemism. Totemism. Did I say that right? Toto, totemism. Thank you. Ism. Europe. Oh, by the way, people don't understand. Totemism does not mean they have to have totem poles. In fact, the culture could have no totem poles and still be totemism. Go ahead. Because <laughs> some people are like, yeah. Yes, okay. we have totem poles are a part of, can be, but that yes. doesn't mean that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> Look up the totemism. word totem. That's what that means. Yeah. <laughs> well, just, You're well, right. just I, I know when I, I I'm ignorant too. When I first did it, I, I thought that totem poles, like 
Like, isn't that's all totem poles? I, I didn't understand. So <laughs> that's always making it no, comment. Absolutely. I know it's fair, yeah. shit, like, eh, no, it's, I mean, yeah, yeah, but no. Go ahead. Watch the other Hey, videos. totemism. Europe, 50,000 years ago. Shamanism, Siberia, 30,000 years ago. Paganism, Turkey, 12,000 years ago. Progressed organized religion, Egypt, 5,000 years ago. Egypt, the first dynasty, 5,150 years ago. Yep. Current world religions after 4,000 years ago. Early atheistic doubting, at least by 2,600 years ago. Right. To Damien, around 12,000 years ago in Turkey, the first evidence of paganism is Gobek. Gobeki? Gobekli Tepe. Gobekli. Te Tepe? It, it, it means Belly Hill. Belly Hill. Mm -hmm. First human made like name, by the way. That the, the, the regular people in the area, like, or that, that's, or it's regular people called it the Belly Hill, and then they kind of adopted it. But okay, anyway. First human made temple, and around 9,500 years ago in Turkey, the second evidence of paganism is Ket Kettlehuyuk. Okay, first religious design and that city. Means Fort Hill. Okay. In addition, early paganism is connected to Proto-Indo-European language and religion. Proto-Indo-European religion can be reconstructed with confidence that the gods and goddesses, myths, festivals, and form of rituals with in invocations, prayers, and songs of praise make up the, the spoken element of religion. Much of this... Pause for a second. Pause yeah. So when they try to say, I can't know prehistory, what did they just tell you right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we know a little bit? We almost know the whole fucking thing. They can tell you yeah. the colors of rituals. The so I got laughing. They're like, Damien, you can't possibly know everything. Like, you haven't really studied for history, have you? Okay. Yeah. Go read my blog. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Much of this activity is connected to the natural and agricultural year, or at least those are the easiest elements to reconstruct because nature does not change and because farmers are the most conservative members of society and are best able to keep the old ways. In Damien's thinking, the reconstruction of goddess, goddesses, gods, characteristics may be different than what we think of and only evolve later to the characteristics we know of today. One such characteristic is how a deity's gender may not be fixed since they are often de uh, uh, defined forces of nature. Right. Yeah, in other words, never, what, what that means, so you can understand. Okay. It's like if I would say, there's a lightning storm. It scared me. It's acting very male. Do you get it? There's yeah. a lightning storm. It's just beautiful little shimmering lights in the clouds, and it's raining, and our crops will be wonderful. The goddess is blessing us. <laughs> Do you see how, in a sense, that same thing that we would see as the same thing, mm -hmm. they actually are seeing as dual natured yin and yang? Yeah. Which I, I got to, they, they, people that, by, by speaking with, I've got more freaking hate about the yin and the yang that I say it's sexist than on any other fucking thing I have ever fucking said. It's crazy. Like, seriously? Dude, they mm -hmm. hate that I say that. And they, they they spend hours telling me I'm wrong. I'm like, dude, I know what I'm fucking. I'm wrong. What the fuck are you talking about? Bull okay, prove it to me. Because I can prove that you that the uh, seven thousand three hundred years ago or whatever, there already was the yin and the yang. So unless you can prove that you know more than that, yeah. So, anyways, my point is wrong. The yin and the yang has always been about male and female, and but it didn't. Like we talked about. So it comes about the yin and the yang. Big shocker. 7,000 years ago. Somewhere around there. Because it's related to all this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the yin and the yang. So you understand too, people. It's the moon and the sun. The moon is the woman. Okay. That's why That's why if you read the yin and the yang, it says the woman is darkness, downward seeking, the shadows, the whatever. What they're talking about is she's the moon. I get it. But it doesn't mean you're not sexist. Yeah, in <laughs> fact, don't they? I mean, I could be mistaken, but don't they often also associate the that with 
the feminine with chaos and the masculine with order, right? Well, it's so, sometimes the opposite, though. They consider men hot, like the sun. And so that men are chaos. Go read the yin and the yang. It says men are, women are calm. No, it says women. Well, sometimes it says the opposite, but it really depends. Because also, once again, sex, this is great. Because all sex is, all you got to do is whatever works for you. You know? Hey, it's like racism. Right, yeah. It's you can, you whatever you think is bad. You can good. make it work for your old bullshit. <laughs> Let it be true. Like, I like yeah. when the fucking assholes come at me for being intersex. I'm like, oh, you're using it as an identity. Do you think I've never talked to an intersex person in my life? You dumb fuck. Seriously, how old am I? 50? You think am I 50 years old? I've never talked to another intersex person, especially when it's out on my fucking profile. And you're gonna tell me they don't like you doing that. Really? That's what they've told you personally? Because they've never said that to me, and I've talked to lots of them. They think I'm a fucking great person. So whatever. <laughs> I just laugh at fools, they talk shit that they like they know anything, or they say, Oh, it's you're you're just still a man. It's there's only man or a woman. And I go, really? It says that in a research article, in a scholarly research article. No, in fact, it does not. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll wait. And it's been like, what, two weeks now? I'm still, I remember it was a month. I don't know, waiting still. I mean, I guess five people that said I was wrong must not have no research articles. Uh -huh. Go figure. Is these people calling this ethics? <laughs> Seriously? I'm a rationalist, so I'm sorry. I don't doubt things. I want to see evidence or it's not happening. Huh. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep reading. <laughs> We're doing good. <laughs> Which tend to not have genders. There are at least 40 deities and the goddesses that have been reconstructed are Priya, Pl Plato, Devi, Perkunos, Osos, oh, by the and way, Yama. I think that's the one that's actually Zeus and Thor and the, the Thunderbird, like in the Americas. It's, it's a bird. Yeah. Or, or like it's a it's a... I always want to say the big kahuna. I'm sorry. That's not what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Kuhu, ku, ku, uh, I don't, I, oh, I don't, that sounds familiar. <laughs> something like that. Anyway, like well, I'm not trying to make fun of it. I'm just, I'm because I actually, I suck. I'm sorry, people. Really. It, it's part of my sociopath. Because see, it's so hard for you to me to care about things. And I'm like, does it really matter to me? No. Nope. So... It, but but I, but I also want to let you know, just like I said about everything, I don't accept that behavior. I work very hard to go, you know, Damien, you still need to do it. So that's why I really don't don't buy this. And people are like, oh, well, you know, I just can't. Like saying it's hard, I'll buy. Saying that you fail often, I'll buy. Saying that you yeah. don't do perfect, I'll buy. Saying you never tried, I won't buy. Go ahead, keep reading. <laughs> The reconstruction of myths can be connected to Proto-Indo-European culture, language, and by additional research. Many of these myths have since been confirmed, including some areas that were not accessible to the early writers, such as Latvian folk songs and Hittite hieroglyphic tablets. There are at least 28 myths, and one of the, the most widely recognized myths of the Indo-Europeans is the myth Yama is killed by his brother Manu, and the world is made from his body. Some of the forms of this myth in various Indo-European languages are about the creation myth of the Indo-Europeans. To Damien, the reconstruction of rituals can be connected to Proto-Indo-European culture language and is estimated to have been spoken as a single language from about 6,500 years ago. One of the earliest ritual is the construction of kurgans or mound graves as a part of a death ritual. Mm. Kurgans were which inspired... I, I think, sorry, real quick. Which I think personally re relates to shell mounds, which relates to pyramids... These are all like, to me, relating to the golden mountains of Siberia in between the step. Because it's the, it's, it's, the, it's the middle land. Because the one side is a gigantic step and there's mountains. And then another side is another gigantic step. So it is, in a sense, right. the center of the world. And they call it the Axis Mundi, the center of the world. Mm. And it starts to make sense. And you understand why are they making mountains everywhere? And why do they want to bury people supposedly inside of them? Mm. See, also, that goes back to volcanoes. Mm. Because they have a belief that volcanoes were deities. And mm -hmm. there were also dragons inside there. 
and mm. also relates to the stars and whatever. So mm. you put people in to them, like those dolmens, right? They're like long tubes. Some of them, in fact, there's one I think that I can't remember if 7,000, but I think it is, where it actually is aiming towards a star cluster, like a telescope. And they're like, oh, look at they were they were they were uh, astronomers. I'm like, seriously, dude, it's religion. Astronomers, what the fuck? Dude, they think they're shooting to their ancestors. That's heaven, asshole. <laughs> Astronomers. <laughs> yeah, here's the clue. It started as religion. And then it became science. Because they were so fixated on it. Because you have to get to heaven. You, you mm -hmm. got, I mean, you got to line that mother up. So it's, you know. <laughs> well, you know, get my point is. So it's religion. It, they're, they're, it's not just looking at any random freaking, you know, just like, and then they, and they go, well, those are dolmens. Oh, are you saying the Egyptians didn't do that? Because they have stuff aiming out towards, you know, star clusters too. Or I think Orion or whatever. Mm. And it, this is not like, and guess what? Some people even try to say that Go, uh, Gobekli Tepe, which we talked about, the first temple, also has relations to stars. And like, yeah, surprise. Not really. They've been doing that for freaking 38,000 years, looking at the freaking stars and going animals and people and places and things. So they've been, that thing, that started in totemism. That's, that's, that's old. Yeah. Anyway, to me, but I, I show people because there's, because there's art, right? So there's these three different art and they're all like dots to make an animal. Yeah. Cause it's stars. Mm hmm. And even like the like the, the well even like thirty that's at thirty eight at thirty two is the first even that even um I say NASA maybe it's NASA but anyways space yeah but NASA um, it says it's the oldest moon uh, calendar it actually tracks the whole moon moving and everything but once again it's not because they had this fixation you know to be astronomers and science at thirty two thousand years ago it was they thought as above so below. Right. Paganism talk about this a lot. Yeah, because that's where it comes from. <laughs> so, but anyway, so the as above, so below is though actually comes earlier totemism. Because animism doesn't do that. Everything is magical. But see, totemism, only some things are magical, some things are not. Yeah. Some things are sacred, the sacred and the profane. Some things you can't touch because they're evil or vile or whatever. So, but that, that doesn't, that's the difference. So, but it's that mentality that's splitting things that you start to get this concept of like heaven or other. So you have like, a because in a sense, what I mean is like in a sense to an animus, what's above? Everything is everything. So it, kind of. So it, that, that, that doesn't, <laughs> that's a weird thinking to think like that is so much better than here, you know? No. Right, right. Yeah, because when we talked about animism, it was like they believed that the spirit realm was the physical realm. Yeah, so they, not just, that they were separate. There's another place that's also a spirit realm. Is like, okay, so you mean like here? I mean, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. It, it, you can't, you can't get if they really are super strong to, uh, animist. That totemism is not going to make a lot of sense. Like, uh, what? But so the totemism though, it splits the the, the thinking. This is very mm -hmm. important because it's this splitting, like a like it's like a capitalism does somehow mentally. You can take the profit and not have to, it, in, it's re, achieved in a social dynamic, but yet not feel any moral obligation in that social dynamic when you're making that profit. Mm -hmm. How that possibly happens, and then still say you believe in business ethics, is a little odd to me. Like, impossible, but <laughs> contradictory, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right, keep reading. Kurgans were inspired by common ritual mythological ideas. Kurgans are complex structures with internal chambers. Within the burial chamber at the heart of the Kurgan, elite individuals were buried with grave goods and sacrificial offerings, sometimes including horses and chariots. In Damien's thinking, it seems possible that the speakers of pre-Proto-Indo-European lived in Turkey and in it associates with the distribution of historical Indo-European languages with the expansion around 9,000 years ago. Right. So what I was going to say 
the reason why I feel it's confusing because they show up in Turkey, but also in like Ukraine, let's say. Yeah. Well, they can't actually be, you would think, in two places, but that's because they're thinking of it starting in Turkey. It did not, in my opinion. It starts in Asia. So that's the reason that it seems. So if, because if you just look at, that was my opinion, if you're archaeologists, you just look in Turkey or just the immediate area, like say Ukraine. Mm -hmm. You don't see how did that happen because it had to somehow go in or out. How did it get from there to there? And you know they're related. So how? Yeah, but they don't get If you're coming from Asia, from the east, and you come towards down Kazakhstan through Iran, you can go both ways, which I think they did. They went south yes. to Turkey and became the, the, the languages, in a sense, the, um, that are almost pre-Proto-Indo-European. It's like mm -hmm. it was there was but because that's because the language is like here and as it's coming it splits off and this one actually achieves culture and this one's still kind of going in the mountains but then they get there but then they meet very advanced people so they really don't have the power yet so they kind of mingle with them for 100 years then they take power mm. you know like a good mm. capitalist you divide and conquer mm -hmm. <laughs> so go ahead and keep reading just giving you a little background on that Okay. With a proposed homeland of Proto-Indo-European proper in the Balkans around 7,000 years ago, the Proto-Indo-European religion seemingly stretches at least back around 6,000 years ago or likely much farther back. And I believe paganism is possibly an approximately 12,000 year old belief system. Right. So like we talked before, so it, it starts in Turkey and then it immediately of 10,000 is already in China. Yeah. And then by 7,500, it's already back in the Balkans. So from yeah. China, it's already, already back in the Balkans. But now it didn't, it's not like it. So wheat went to China. Millet comes back to the Balkans. But it didn't just bring millet. They also, <laughs> paganism went to China. So they got paganism, started caring about bulls and stuff. And bulls has to do with land ownership, power, plows. It's all going together. That's why it all kind of like, why do bulls go there? Just like women used to wear the horns on the head as shamans, and that evolves into paganism. They're still shamans because they're still brewing the alcohol. They're still the witches, which is just a pagan, in a sense, priestess to me, or shaman. Or right. Pagan shaman is what a witch is to me, kind of. So they're wearing these things in their head, and I already know that shamans believe that those horns allow the clouds or the the storm gods or whatever to come through the horns into them because mm -hmm. and that, that this only sounds weird until you really realize Christianity does it too. It's <laughs> called Holy Spirit, right? Aren't you, wasn't even Jesus possessed with the Holy Spirit? Yeah. So you believe in possession. You're a shaman. So Jesus was a shaman. Thank you for letting me know that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Be here all week. Now, so immediately that behavior, just like I said, I can tell totemist behavior, animist behavior, shamanist behavior, the things you're paganist behavior. So you start doing certain things like, oh, I know what that is. And it, it helps. So when you start realizing, because then everywhere you look, even like religions today, you're like, oh, fuck, I know what candles are. We're worshiping fire. Oh, yeah. baptism, that's worshiping water. Yeah. Like, oh, Holy Spirit. Oh, you're a shaman. Got it. Because yes, you right. totally believe in possession as a method yeah. of. Of being better than yourself. Yeah. No shaman would disagree. Swear to God. I yeah. Promise. Like I told you, I, I told you already about how when I first left Christianity, I ventured off into a little bit of Wiccanry. And, right. and because, Wiccan, by the way, is fake. I'm sorry. It is. Right. There's, right. It's real pagan, but those aren't. But, yeah. Okay. Right. Go ahead. I'm just. But, just but because honest. I had post-traumatic stress disorder from Christianity, right? The rituals that came with Wiccanry were so similar that I had yeah. all of the symptoms of my post-traumatic stress disorder. Well, it was so, just so you know, the guy who made Satanism had a few friends. One of them, L. Ron Hubbard, wrote the mm -hmm. Dianetic. Yeah. Another one made yeah. Ekankar religion. Right, a whole bunch of real, real winners making all these toxic <laughs> religions. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, and then then, then the other guy makes the same for all these people. The other guy that related to all this, he, he tries to do Satanism and they don't really like him. So he makes his own thing. He makes Wicked. And he goes, oh, I'm going to take some African stuff and I'm going to take some I think Hindu stuff. I can't remember. It's like, maybe it's Sikh, not Hindu. Yeah. Sikh stuff. I can't remember because like it matters to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. But, but <laughs> what, what, I, what, I, what I say is if you're going to be a pagan, read my book and then be a real pagan. This shit is not paganism. I'm not right. saying that, it's, it, that I'm putting down Wiccans. If you want to be a Wiccan, fine. Just know it's not real. That's yes. all. Know that it's right. like, yeah, it's not an invention. Not one part of it is real. That's all I'm saying. So, right. It, it, yeah. it, 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 certainly, do whatever you fucking want. I don't care. You put stamps, you know? Yeah. But just, don't, <laughs> just don't go in public and shoot people. That's all. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. Stamp collecting. Fuck, go for it. Yeah. Stamp collecting is good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many people died from a stamp collection, but so probably you, almost none. Yeah, yeah, right. So <laughs> pro stamp collection. Can you, can you read some more? The earliest Kurgans date to six thousand years ago and are connected to the proto Indian thousand, but they're wrong. But I, I'm sorry. I, okay. Well, I would say it's a proto. Mm -hmm. in, in Siberia is where they come from, and proto ones are seven thousand years old, and they already have warriors because they even go, "Wow, there's warriors." Who are they fighting? I'm thinking, yeah, everyone. That's who. Yeah. <laughs> it's war against all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Proto-Indo-European in the ca ca Caucasus. In fact, around 7,000 years ago, there appears to be a pre-Kurgan in Siberia. Around 7,000 to 2,500 years ago and beyond, Kurgans were built with ancient traditions still active in Southern Siberia and Central Asia, yep. which display, which display the con continuity of the archaic forming methods. Kurgan cultures are divided archeologically into different subcultures, such as timber grave, pit grave, Scythian, uh, Sarmatian. Is that That's right? Bad. That's not bad. Scythian was the other one. Yeah. I like Scythian. Scythian. In fact, a lot of my art that I want to do in the future, a lot of it is Scythian. I think their shit's cool. It's kind of like a mix of like pagan, Nordic, shaman, yeah. kind of all together, which is kind of cool. Okay. Hunish and Kuman Kipchak. Kurgans have been found from the Altai Mountains to the, ca the Caucasus. I'm losing my play. Sorry. Ukraine, Romania, and Bulgaria. Around 5,000 years ago, Kurgans were used to uh, used in the Ukrainian and Russian flat unforested grasslands, and their use spread with migration into Eastern, Central, Northern Europe, Turkey, and beyond. And Americas. I know they didn't say that, but they went to the Americas too. That's why right. This, this crazy thing started 5,000 years ago in America called the Mound Builders. Go look it up. It's unbelievable. You know what's the worst shit that I learned about that? I mean, mm. it's just disgusting. That America intentionally destroyed fucking monument, like pyramid structures of shell mounds, calling it trash. In fact, Florida even today has these little jingles or whatever, how beautiful they use the natural coral from the Shell Mound temples to make all the Florida roads. Isn't that great? Hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I go, yeah. <laughs> like I go, right. So if how would you feel if that happened to the Egyptian pyramids? Would that mm -hmm. be okay? Would mm -hmm. you think that maybe with some ethical issues with that? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it's a fucking temple and you just made it into road stuff. And then we laugh about it and say how wonderful it shines. Yeah. Take it down now, right? Bile. I mean, it, yeah. I hear, I heard that, and it just, it makes like, like bile come in my mouth. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's yeah. Bigoted. Take that shit down. Sorry, I don't mean to, to point anybody out, but I just, it, we could do better than that. Than saying how great that we destroyed ancient cultures and stuck them in our fucking roads so we can drive right. on. It just kind of irritates the shit out of me. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's like it's not just a fuck you. It's a fuck you, and here's a lollipop. Yeah, I mean it's like it's just yeah. <laughs> it's, you're right. You're you're right. It's like uh, I mean it's pulling the wool over their eye, the people's eyes. And then, it, and then yeah. teaching our American history as if 
native peoples never built temples and shit or didn't have pyramids in America's like right. the fuck they didn't. They were just made out of dirt and shells and stuff. Right. They didn't use stone. Uh, okay. Are they 375 feet high? Well, then it's not trash, huh? <laughs> yeah. And the fact that they still keep it teach it like that is just, it's, it's, I, I, anyways, it, it's vile to me. I, 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 I fucking hate bigotry and it's just, that's all I hear. It's just fucking bigotry. It's, it's disgusting. And like I said, yeah. it, to hear it in a happy jingle, like happy Florida, drive on our roads that shine from the shell mounds we stole from the indigenous people, and we drive on them with the most disrespect fucking possible. <laughs> but enjoy the products of our enjoy genocide. Enjoy Florida and have a nice day. Right. Sorry. Bad. It, it, it really does. Yeah. It, yeah. That's what people understand. They always go, Damien, you say so many harsh things. Oh. <laughs> you don't even know want to know what Damien really thinks all the time. It's even harsher. I'm trying to, to get to people. I really, because I can't help it. I'm an ethical person. If I saw someone be raped, I couldn't just sit there and go like, oh, yeah, whatever. I'll just keep watching TV. <laughs> gives a fuck. I, I can't do it. I, I just physically right. can't do it. It fucking bothers me. I would rather go over there and die trying to help her than do nothing. It just. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, you have entire bodies of Christ uh, just dismissing victims as though nothing ever even happened. Standing, standing next to the perpetrators and, you know, mm -hmm. it's disgusting. To me, I would take on the emotional weight of the fucking world just to save one child from fucking abuse like I went through. Yeah. And anyone who, who thinks that this shit's okay is just the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, Listen, right. Go, check, go, go check yourself out because you need some help. Yeah, agreed. You can, you can keep reading. Unless you have something yeah. great to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 7,000 years of class conflict, class war struggle ain't nothing new. Damien loves when people of statism worship persuasion. Statism, statism sorry, per worship pers persuasion. Love saying... Things are so bad and we need to lower the struggle. Damien thinks that the delusion you are you talking about, it has always been class war, crazy fucker. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for about 7,000 years ago of oppressions forced on us at the end. In yeah. Damien's thinking, it seems possible between 7,000 to 5,000 years ago, rise of unequal hierarchy elites, leading to a birth of the state or worship of power, strong new sexism, oppression of non-elites, and the fall of women's equal status. And then right after that was racism because they realized sexism wasn't enough. Right. Like only half the population. You gotta, elites cannot deal with half the population against them. Yeah. You need more problems. Just telling you, reminding you why when people are like, I don't know why you bring up capitalism and racism together. I'm like, oh, fucking A. It's sexism, too. That shit goes together. Don't you yeah. get this? There, yeah. is, there is no, it's, okay, how about, it's separate to you, but not to the fucking capitalism. It isn't, they would love yeah. that. Do, what, do you think they want us to be empowered? So what, we take them over and they stop? This fucking guy doesn't even want to pay taxes. Hmm? You think he wants Damien in power to take him down? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> no. All right, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Fifth millennium BC, around 7,000 to 6,000 years ago, events. This was a time of great development along with the spread of agriculture from Western Asia throughout Southern and Central Europe. Urban cultures in Mesopotamia and Anatolia, Turkey flourished, developing the wheel. Copper ornaments became more common, marking the beginning of the uh, Chathcolithic, which means copper age. Uh, copper age, okay. Animal husbandry spread throughout Eurasia, reaching China. World population grew slightly. Animal husbandry, so people know, that means raising <laughs> animals and realizing that you can like genetically mess with them if you breed this one with that one. You can get a different animal, right? Like breeding dogs. So that's mm -hmm. what they started. But there's something that happened when they grasped that they were gods 
they did it to women. When they mm. realized, like I told you, that wasn't enough power, they had to become racist. And so when I, when I like a lot of times I'll say white, because really white racism starts 7,000 years ago. But but like this one, one archaeologist got mad that I said that. He goes, you mean fair skin? I'm like, oh, okay. But I like saying white because it offends people. <laughs> <laughs> So I the people that deserve to be offended. Why, 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 why? You know, gives a fuck. Yeah. How Come dare on. you? They go, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'll get to your oppression after I deal with African Americans, women's, homosexuals, trans people. Did I miss oh Asians? Um, anybody else? Hispanics, indigenous people, I don't know, migrants. I, I can't even, drug addicts. I can think of a whole bunch of people I can get to before I ever get to. Oh, that whites are oppressed. Right. Well, and if I'm we actually it address happen, class. That, <laughs> it, it, at the level of who's getting the depressed like mutualism, my need is to go th- th- help the one that's bleeding, not the one that got a paper cut and is crying. Right. Out. Right. Yeah. And if we actually address class, it will help all the people. And then the white people that are complaining that we're not helping them will also be helped. I, and, I, and I'm not not helping white people. This is fucking stupid. I'm helping human rights. I don't know. Unless you're against that, you should also yeah. be included. I'm not saying I, right. well, like I'm anti anybody. I'm not. No, I'm trying to say I'm pro everybody. You're the yeah. anti people that I'm fighting against. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damien's anti classes, so. <laughs> I don't even like any of that bullshit to myself. That's why I don't ever say family because then somebody's not. I never say brother and sister, even though it doesn't bother me because I being, you know, I, I, I feel I want to be called male. So I don't, have, by the way, I have no problem being called that. I'm, but I'm like, that's not my point. I call Boy, you that all the time. Boy, <laughs> I know, but you do all the time. But, but I, I just want you to know, I'm not offended by it. I'm trying to grasp or I'm trying to get others to grasp this needed understanding of how I see the world. Yeah. And I do that because I want everybody to feel like they're family. Family today is not, you know, blood is not thicker than water today. It's but not. So, so is, is the whole world family? For That's me? It. No, 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 you don't have to answer it. My point, I'm just showing you my thinking. <laughs> Every time someone says something, like if, like, like say if, I, I have no problem, by the way, just so people know. I, I gotta go. yeah. <laughs> because, because it can be confusing when I say no, but yes, so. What yeah. I mean is, you can call me a commie. Totally fine with that. Like, okay, cool. You know, but so I, did you say that? I think I'm gonna be offended. Like, please, I should like yeah. that. So that does not offend me. I just, I just say socials because I'm trying to be accurate to what I understand. Like I told you, I actually may be more than that. I, I, I haven't read enough, and I'm too tired to care. I'm, <laughs> so I'm gonna do good. If you feel I'm whoever, then you're right. Okay, as long as it's good stuff. But at least I try. But so I'm just saying that it, it, it's, for me, it's about, once again, as Max says, value. Right? Yeah, words. yeah. Words. I've heard people say they're good people, and they're not. Yeah. So I care about actions. Like, if you behave as a communist, well, then I like you. If you behave as an anarchist, well, then I like you. If you don't, I'm going to have more of a problem with you. Yeah. That's it. I mean, fuck here if you call it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Identi- what you want. Identifying with a political uh, persuasion doesn't necessarily mean your actions meet that, right? Dude, I so, have met some people. Like, this one, what this one chick, right, tells me, "Damien, I'm nonviolence." I said, "Well, I'm not nonviolence. I'm non-aggression, not nonviolence." So, <laughs> straighten that out. Never. In fact, I, I have the thing that shows all the kinds of anarchism. I'm not anarcho pacifism. So, if people forget that they're confused. Seriously, no. I just believe in non-aggression, which means I should not go out and cause active harm. Right. <laughs> I don't know why that's a crazy concept. That just seems like the most basic human thing. Let's see. Today, I'm going to go out to the store. I'm not going to harm anybody. I'm going to come back and no one be harmed. And it's crazy. And I won't even bring a gun. Fuck, what's wrong with me, right? <laughs> I'm a medic. <laughs> All I need is a gun. A machine gun. That's like someone said to me too, Damien. You, you, you're you're crazy. You, you, if that person attacked you with a skateboard, you would have shot him. And I go, No, you don't know me. I could have had a machine <laughs> gun. I could even be willing to kill people, which I am, if I have to. By the way, I, I actually don't want that at all. Mm-hmm. 
But I but I'm right. a sociopath, so it's not if I did it, it's not gonna fucking cause me like a day of grief. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's ethical. Oh, <laughs> then it will cause right. me no grief. Yes. <laughs> At all. <laughs> so but see, is that the most worthy endeavor? Just to not hurt people? That's not even an endeavor. That should be the standard. See yeah. the standard? People yeah. want to thank themselves for just doing to me like the state. What the fuck? You just walked outside and didn't tell someone to go fuck off. Whoa, you deserve a medal. A fucking gold <laughs> star. No. To me, you need a gold star. You know what you do? You actively do good. It's not just the absence of bad that equals good. That doesn't equal good. That's neutral. Yeah. Good yeah. is an active participation in that which is productive, that which is true, accurate. That which produces well-being, benefit. Mm. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. World population grew slightly throughout the millennium, possibly from five to seven million people. Inventions, discoveries, introductions. Farming reaches Atlantic coast of Europe from ancient Near East around 7,000 years ago. Maize is cultivated in Mexico around 7,000 years ago. Proto writing, such as uh, actually, audiograph, maybe, maybe nine, I think. But go ahead. Okay. Well, that's proto, proto. Like, like they're, they're like I think I, if I remember right, I think they were actually starting to mess with it. It became okay. more domesticated by seven thousand, and then it moved. I think by five thousand, it moved south when the when the okay. uh, when the North Asians came over, grabbed it, and then either they themselves, I can't remember now, or they mixed, and then those people then right. culture-wise went down. Because he said, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's DNA will move things, and then sometimes culture moves it. DNA yeah. drops it somewhere, and then another culture picks it up and takes it further. So, like, yeah. you'll see, like, oh, wow, it went 5,000 miles. Well, that doesn't mean one culture went 5,000. It might be, like, leapfrog. One yeah. culture took it 10 miles. They lived there for 20 years, and their culture went 50 miles away, and then another yeah. 100, and you know, they blah, blah. by the time, well, because you're looking at like length of time, maybe a thousand years, they went 5,000 miles. They didn't yeah. do it like one day. <laughs> right. I mean, sometimes they went far distances, but as a, as a group, it was not like, you know, full on. <laughs> the yeah. way some of the, I mean, because I'm saying you're, you're forgetting it, like, just think, how old is America? When I say a thousand years, just think, America's what two hundred, and we think that's a long time ago. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you grasp the the distance in time, that that's actually a long time. Right. You can read some more. Okay. Um, proto writings such as ideographic Benka symbols, Tartaria tablets around seven thousand years ago. Around 7,000 years ago, metallurgy during the Copper Age in Europe. Around 7,000 years ago, agriculture starts in ancient Japan. Beans and gourds are cultivated. Plow. And by the way, at 6,000 years ago, in the um, Midwest Great Lakes region, is the um, North Asians go there and mm. bring totemism, shamanism, paganism, and also make copper there. Because the call, okay. the, the people can look up. It's called the old copper culture. And okay. then all the mound builders and copper stuff later kind of relates to that. It like starts up in, you know, almost in Canada in the Great Lakes and then filters down to Ohio and then down to Mississippi and, you know. Okay. And, Plow is introduced in Europe around 6,500 years ago and copper. Pins dating to around 6,000 years ago found in Egypt. Water buffalo are domesticated in China. Beer brewing is developed. Wheel is developed in Mesopotamia and India. I would say that's inaccurate. I know I might say that and, and that I, and I probably left that because that's what archaeologists now say, but I'm going right. to call it. It did not. This is the thing I go, they go, oh, well, Damien, you understand. It started in sleds. And I'm like, right. You mean the ones in Siberia that are 10,000 years old? You mean those ones? <laughs> Not the 6,000 year sled you said turned into the wheel, but the ones that were already doing it at 10,000? Or how about the 9,000 ones? There's ones that went 1,500 miles in Alaska, or not Alaska, in, in uh, North, uh, Far East Russia. They went 1,500 yeah. miles 
in like one you know thing and they were that that was the the route because they they find tools do, 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 all the way up so yeah they're actually supplying like supply routes far in like going on the out to like little islands and they're traveling they have yeah so anyways let's see which is more likely that sleds happened in the snow or sleds happened in the <laughs> desert i mean anyways, I, I don't, <laughs> makes I, sense I, to I, me that it'd be the snow but <laughs> i guess okay. let's see have you ever tried to do a wheel in the desert they don't work as good as they actually work on the step where the fucking ground is flat, hard as shit, especially during the winter. Hard as shit, frozen as fuck. And even when not, generally hard as shit, you know, because it's like but grass. That's all fucking there's no trees. It's like suck, but it's great for the wheel. It's great for horses. But this is a to me, I don't think it started in horses. I think it starts in reindeer and dogs, because dogs at 30,000 are hard started. And then by um, probably 16, that's like super common. And then by the 10,000, that dog that was in, in Far East Russia matches the Siberians all, uh, dog in Alaska and in Americas. So we know it's the same thing, which I already knew anyways, but yeah. And, and, the, and, and the things too is the cultures go with this. It's just, I always laugh like, so you really think, because they go, you don't know what their religion is. I go, yeah, how could I possibly? When we see their pottery, we know it's their pottery because it keeps moving. Or even if it changes, we know it's a new version of the original pottery, right? Not new mm. pottery. Yeah. So why do you think somehow that religion just springs every time out of like brand new? It's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Culture's never been like that. <laughs> Sorry mm. to break your <laughs> fantasy, but uh, yeah, ideas have to be spread. Yeah. And I disagree with that. That that bullshit about memes like Dawkins says oh, or yeah. how the best idea made it well only if you mean the best idea was power and dominance and rape and murder then that, that idea worked fucking great but I don't know that's an idea it's more like a behavior that if right. I kill you and I force you to be a slave you accept the slave religion and then I become the leader and all of a sudden I have elites and power and capitalism and all that and gods right because because then gods because it, the divine right of kings, I'm sure you can go. I think the, and Wikipedia even has a, a website that says that divine right of king. It's like a, explains yeah. it. It's that normal. Yeah, that's how they <laughs> or justify I should say their, it's very uh, abnormal, yeah. but it's normal. In, in, <laughs> in, yeah. In bad thinking that some person deserves to be a king. That's the most disgusting idea I've ever fucking heard. Agreed. What the, what the fuck? Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I, it's, I tell people, don't ever worship me. Don't ever, don't, you are not respecting Damien if you ever worship my birthday or any bullshit like that. I find that shit to be fucking disgusting. Goddamn fucking hero worship shit. You know what you worship? Fucking reason. Then you, yeah. then you really have honored me. You worship reason? Then you've honored me. Right. Fucking, fuck that bullshit. I, my goal is for you to reason. If you don't reason, if you worship me, you fucked up. What the fuck happened? <laughs> what? What the fuck? I was trying to give you power, not fucking make you powerless and give it to me. No, fuck that. <laughs> no. I don't want it. You shouldn't want to give it. Um, <laughs> Damien, I have a really hot date that I've got to go on tonight. Okay, so no problem. Yeah. And, and Corey, could, if you could stay, could you just like everything that we've talked about and you've understood and maybe read? Could you give us your your understanding of capitalism? Any any insights or anything? I really want to hear your insight. And you can go ahead and go. I appreciate and thank you for being a fellow leader. You do excellent work, and I, I really thank value you. Thank you. Likewise, y'all have a great day. Nice right. meeting you. Bye. Nice meeting you. Bye bye. Yeah, I mean, like after all this, <laughs> could, could, could you tell me first before you get started? Do you feel that it's changed at all with the information I gave you? That what, you, what your perception was before, or like your, oh, your yeah. capitalism or anything? Well, I think I think there are types of, uh, like you say, like there's types of exploitation in the same way that we view exploitation under capitalism. Right. I mean, you you can maybe nitpick the actual name of it, but it's the well, same well, that, exploitation. Well, the right? one guy tried to nitpick with me. He said. I'm using the name wrong. And then I showed him the original name, which means the ownership of cows. Right. 
So then, and then, and then, <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and then I said, "Oh, and the ownership of cows had to do with capital, which because you were a sacred right over the production of the herd, so right. you're like the leader, sort of, you know." Yeah, it you're not winning, dude. <laughs> yeah, like it. <laughs> and even even like Oxford and everything says that the the, the 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 invention of private property and slavery and elite and uh, capitalism in a sense they just don't use the word capitalism but they, everything else but like yeah. I said if you go read up for capitalism go look up historical capitalism it, they don't have a problem there's all kinds of capitalism ha huh, what a surprise you can do shit a lot of ways yeah like that uh, when we talk about like. Uh like feudalism where they had the divine right of Kings, right. like in a sense that was still capitalism. It was just, I agree. you know, it was, it, they still owned the land and exploited the people who were working Our property. It. So funnel it to the elite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it was, <laughs> how is that different? Yeah. I, I think if, if you're going to say capitalism is the broad umbrella, then you could say feudalism is, a part of that or a kind of that I, I would agree with that at least for me i say yeah i, I would agree that that that's that's because i see it as capitalism is a type of behavior one is that there is elites because that well what the fuck is that? there's no capitalism there's no elites right. <laughs> so it requires that to even start the fucking thing or to yeah it, right because let's just are you saying that no elites can ever happen Oh, then I'm fine, but maybe that's not that bad. <laughs> right. Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> Someone will accumulate too much wealth. Oh, well, then see, I told you shit. Yeah, yeah. So then you've got like, well, you even then, like you have serfs and you have kings and you have uh, a class divide and you have people, who, you have cops, you have people working for wow. the kings and the landowners and taking, you know, tax, collecting taxes. Like, it's very like. <laughs> Taxes means I get to take your fucking land. Yeah, and you, and you get and you have to feel good about it. <laughs> yeah, I get to just take what you've produced, and that's that. Oh, but I made sure that you're safe. You can walk across the street. Oh, and, I mean, there's some some debate, right, about whether or not uh, feudalism is. Uh, technically better or worse for workers than modern capitalism. <laughs> Sadly, they actually had more time off. Yeah, that's right. They, no, that's a fact. They, they worked the land and then, uh, they and then actually, long, people. they actually had the rest of the day off. They did the job of the day and they had the rest of the day off. Yeah. And they actually had more food than many people in the United States right now. <laughs> It, 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 which is really disgusting to me there should be uh, yeah I, I i always think if your politics no matter what they are doesn't involve children eating you're a monster what the fuck yeah yeah it's fucked up fucked up man like i told you i don't even want to hear about if it's up to me like how would, what would you do to change things oh thank you for asking I would make sure that every, <laughs> I already have the answer. Every I've been working on this for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not a hard one. I thought about it as a kid. Every school should have breakfast, lunch, and send every single child home with a sack dinner. Every fucking child, period. Yeah. If they don't want it, then they can give it to somebody else or whatever. But I don't think there should be a kid on this planet. The fucking star starving is the stupidest fucking evilest shit possible. Yeah. When we have yep. nothing but excess up the fucking ass. Yeah. And all the scarcity that exists is fake. <laughs> so. I, and, and look, I, and you know, I've been kicked off of things for being a radical. I mean, seriously, I don't understand why I'm even seen as a radical. How the fuck is caring about being a radical? The only thing I can think of is that uh, there are people who are reporting you uh, because they are threatened by your worldview. And oh, I'm sure of it. <laughs> if, en if enough people, or you get enough, if you get reported enough times, or if enough people report you, then you get shut down. Well, that's probably what Cause, happens. Because the actual, the actual content of what you post, I absolutely don't think that it it violates any terms you, of service that I've ever. You've seen my stuff. 
right? You see my I post a lot, but I mean, and I, yeah, I mean, I don't see everything that you post, but <laughs> no, true. but I mean, but, but but you see, I mean, I well, here's the thing is, I tell everybody every week you can see it again because I'm gonna I'm doing to do it, and I'm gonna do it until I stop doing this because yeah, this is activism. This ain't trying to get likes, or you fucking think Damien's a cool dude. I could fucking care less. I do care that you're a good human. Yeah. yeah. I, I, that, and that's me why I really don't like capitalism. I just, I, I, I don't understand how it could be okay. And then I can, like you see, and what's her answer to the job shortage? Let's bring back child labor. I mean, that, it, capitalism. They're just, yeah. How it's, are, not, and, it's not pay a living wage or, or implement benefits to attract workers. It's, now we're gonna we're gonna make it legal to hire twelve year olds. Yeah, it's it, just, it makes no sense at all. It's it's vile, dude. It's seriously, it's fucking vile to me. I, I, I but but like I like I said, if someone someone try to give me a hard time because I want to I want to take to retire. I'm like, yeah, but I've done this for fifteen years. Maybe you you think it's a big deal because you did it for ten minutes a year. I've done it fifteen years <laughs> and all of it for free. Yeah, I'm gonna go do live my life now. I plus I I I wanted to keep doing it until I solve religion. I done solve religion, solve capitalism. I taught you guys how to do it, where to look, gave it all for free, taught you how to do philosophy. I'm done. Fucking tired. I've I've gone on the streets. I'm not it's not it's not like, like I told you. I'm not saying I'm never gonna do videos. That may be all I do is videos right. with you or someone I really like. Because here's the thing. I will not talk after I retire to another fucking person. I don't want to. And that includes I won't debate no fucking religious because you know what? I don't give a fuck. If you don't like my shit, go read my blog. Your problem with that? Don't bring it to me because I don't care. Once I retire, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I've had that rule for a long time already. <laughs> I didn't. I used to take on every battle there was, man. Yeah. But but that's because I was doing activism. But I'm going to retire. I'm 50. I'm disabled. I'm, you know, and uh, it's not even, I'm not worried about the world. I already had this plan before, you know, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> well, and it's not like, <sighs> the thing is like a person should be free to retire from whatever, whenever they want. Yeah, it, how, is that, how am I not a hero? I did a good job and now I'm, I want to retire. I, I'm, it's I mean, literally the world we want. <laughs> <laughs> we literally want a world where you don't have to work. If it's the not rest something, of my life. You know. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, would have thought that I could work till I'm fifty, hard as shit, figure out a whole bunch of crap, do good for humanity, and then say, "Thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna go now be myself." Because I I want to go do my life. I want to go do jewelry, and I want to go to the beach, and I want to go, you know, nudist resorts, and I want to go to strip clubs, and I want to go, you know, sit in jacuzzis and not do any work at all, or any yeah. thinking, and just. And then I want to talk to Corey, basically. Probably be the, it'll be that. <laughs> Sounds good. That's <laughs> been my whole life. <laughs> and you know what? That'll be just fine with me. Yeah. That's another thing, too, is I know a lot of people before were trying to tell me I have to go to conventions and stuff to try to be the atheist movement or a socialist movement. Because I had friends and and were mad that I didn't do enough socialist stuff when I was in um, Washington. Like, I have some obligation that I have to do more. I was like, right. Why don't you just thank everyone for what they do instead of telling everybody they need to do fucking more? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm not saying people shouldn't do a lot more. They should always do a lot, but everybody can should do yeah, what like, they can do within their abilities and uh, so, but, right, right. So which is the very socialist. <laughs> I, I totally agree with that. Because I say the thing too. I appreciate I've done a lot. I appreciate those someone who yeah. just shares one meme. That's still you're doing something, man. That's not yeah. enough, but you're doing something. So it's I'm just okay. saying, I, I don't, I don't like those people that feel like the elite. Oh, once again, you know, I hate elitist bullshit. Yeah, everyone's equal. Everyone's doing good. We we need everybody involved. And so I've been involved, and and now I'm ready for the young people. You go, you take it. <laughs> I gave you the stuff. You go do more. Figure out more shit. Whatever. I don't care. Good dude. I'm gonna go have fun. I have because I haven't lived my life, dude. I've been 24 hours a day, nonstop, fucking. I will I, I don't sleep. I like the whole time right. I'm, sleeping, I'm thinking, 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 capitalism is this and that. And, and these people do this and that. The pagan is. I'm like, I'm like, my wife, she can't even do anything because I'm like, I've been watching TV and I start just rambling about religion shit because I'm trying to figure, well, have you thought about this and what does this relate to? And this and that. She said, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to watch fucking, you know, 
Dancing with the Stars or something. And that's not what she watched. <laughs> RuPaul, right. I don't know what it was. You know, RuPaul's Drag Race, and and Damien's talking about friggin' paganism and friggin' Northern and this and that and whatever. So that's another thing too. Is I I I, I want them done, man. I've lived it. I like, breathe this shit. I'm just, but it, it's hard too. I could, and it's because I care, and I think I can't do nothing, man. I care too much. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but, but you cannot. You cannot continue to put the world I, ahead of your own needs is the thing. I, and before I felt on fire and I still kind of am, but I feel fucking tired, man. I'm just I'm tired. I get, I mean, but I've, I've read tons and tons and tons. It's like fucking eyes are burning. I'm just, so I'm exhausted, you know, and I, I feel like, like, like I've been an Iraq war veteran or something for 15 years. And I'm, I'm like shell shocked or whatever. I'm like fucking burnt, man. Yeah, what I feel like. Yeah, you You're put like, in a lot of effort so far. I don't see. <laughs> I don't see why uh, you would necessarily owe anybody anything for. But you see how yeah. people feel like somehow you can't stop, Damien. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think I understand that. I mean, it depends what they actually mean, but I could see people saying like it will be a loss to our cause if you are not doing the work that you're doing, uh, that is I, a I different agree, thing than saying you man. owe me. <laughs> like that's a different thing than saying you owe me your effort. Right. Well, I, well, I, I and I couldn't make any argument impossible that I don't benefit being constantly teaching. I mean, I should never stop teaching the rest of my life, but I also, like I said, what about me? I'm not saying that I should be first, but fuck I somewhere. I feel like that I have put myself so far bound into no nothing, just trying to make sure I care to everybody, and I've done a good job. And then I think, okay, yep. like as I said, like if someone goes to the war, they actually get to come back and then stop war. Yep. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and there is no rule about uh, never being allowed to have a voice again or what. You oh, know. I didn't hope. Oh, fuck, you do. Oh, <laughs> I, no, I didn't know that. I mean, what I mean is, get right now, I am a 24-hour activist. Yeah. I, and I have been for 15 years. Yeah. Since 2006. It's too much. It's I, I'm burned. I, 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 yeah. It's I've done, I guess, well, because I tried to do the impossible, and I've done it, but n- now I feel like I've done the impossible. I feel exhausted. <laughs> like, fuck, I did the impossible, man. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, but like you said, I, I, I'm not saying that I'm 100% be gone. I'm just saying it's going to go from 100% to like 10 or 20. You right. Know, because yeah. I need to, to go live a life too. But I, I fuck, man, I, I I hate racism. I hate fascists. I, I hate fucking capitalism. I, there's no fucking way in hell. I hate, I hate oppression. And there's no way in hell I'm going to be quiet. And you live in a country right now that is like, it seems to be more and more embracing the worst aspects of those of itself. Like so, you're going to be confronted with it on a daily basis as you go on. So. I know, I, I know. Well, and also, my book is going to come out. And believe me, if you think the shit hit the fan now, wait till that fucking thing comes out. <laughs> right. Oh, it's going to be like it's going to be a nuclear bomb. It'll be like nothing that's ever hit the world before, because no one's ever explained it like me. I, I and it backed up the, the fucking detail. It, it stuns people. They're like. Walk. I didn't even know we knew. They're archaeologists. Like, I don't even know we knew that much stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, a lot of shit. Yeah, that's why I, I read this guy's book mm-hmm. and those guys' books. And that. <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's, uh, that's why my reading thing was like a hundred dollar books and not like you know trade publication books, but like shit that's like I, I told you I couldn't hardly understand at first. And it was, the, 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 the really thing why I knew I needed to do some speak out about religion stuff, you know, archaeology, not because. I mean, because like, someone asked me, why did you even feel you were qualified to talk about archaeology? You don't have no degree in that and stuff. And I said, well, I looked at all the stuff that was the degrees. Like they have the the archaeological and anthropological handbook of religion for um, Oxford University that to give for college or for archaeology okay. or anthropology too. So, I mean, this is like the, the standard book. It's like $130 or something. Anyways, uh, something like that. But anyway, so the, it's like, like 700 pages, 8,000 pages or something. Like, fuck, ridiculous. But it actually doesn't explain even 
even a 20%, I think, of what I my book is going to. My book is going to blow it so fucking, that book will be worthless almost. Like, the fuck is that piece of shit? Oh, a set thousand pages of fucking trying not to tell the truth. That's what it feels like. You did everything possible <laughs> not to explain the truth. It's like you almost didn't want to offend religion, but yet tell a book on religion. And they go, oh, David, that's not fair. Oh, really? So where was the big section on Christianity and Islam? Archaeology. Because I know there's some archaeology. Oh, is it just a subheading? No, no data? The fuck? This is the archaeology book? Hmm. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? I finally go through, and also they arranged to me. And I, by the way, I'm not attacking Oxford, and I'm not attacking the archaeology community or the book. I'm not, I, I don't agree with with the fucking idiots that say that the you know archaeologists are bad people and shit. Fuck you. Right. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the archaeology it appears is trying to not offend anyone, meaning. No one in the world is ever going to find out the full truth, the whole truth, yeah. and nothing but the truth from an archaeological book for publication for a college. Yeah, it's like because editorial choices are made so that, yeah. We're not going to. And they go, oh, I don't understand why they be. Well, let's see. If we have a Muslim country and... Damien's an archaeologist, and he says, fuck religion. And these religious people say, well, we don't want him digging in this area because he's an anti-religionist. So all of a sudden, I can't even do archaeology because of fucking right. religion. Yeah. So you can't do your job. And then also, remember, yeah. they have to get it approved, this book they're going to do. See, like Damien's book, I'm going to produce it myself. Because first off, I was going to have, I had someone who's going to do it. But they told me I'd take out stuff on Hitler. And I said, dude, I am an anti-fascist. Why you would tell me to take out some thing about Hitler? You must be cracking the head. Right. And, well, you said something positive. I go, I was making a fucking critical thinking point, not promotion. of. Any All I said was, if you're going to say that one behavior makes someone good, well, then we must say Hitler was good because he made sure that animal vivisection was ended in Europe, the first ever in Europe. But that sure doesn't make him a fucking good person. That was my point. The fuck does that Yeah, uh, I think that uh, somebody missed the point there. My point was, okay, <laughs> so let's see. He knew that torturing animals for science was bad, but torturing humans was good. Like, come on, seriously. You think that, no. I was trying to, sh I was trying, that's like, I was like, I'm trying to show this is bad thinking and you tell me I have to take it out because I mentioned Hitler. What the fuck? I'm trying to say it's bad. And they go, well, you also mentioned the Ku Klux Klan. Oh, yeah, I did. And not in a good way. Even though I said <laughs> a good thing, right? It's crazy, right? Because I'm trying mm. to show a point. Saying the Ku Klux Klan is good because they actually do road cleanup does not make them fucking good. Right, exactly. I was trying, and that's what I said. And I'm like, how does yeah. that need to come out? I'm like, see, I can't, I can't have someone produce my book. It has to be me, all me. But I, this, because it needs the fucking truth, not some whitewashed, cleaned up, fucking sanitized. Because the is you reading right? Does the truth sound good? No, not always. <laughs> Quite often, it does not. Mm, nah. It sounds like not real good. Not like, yeah, I'm a pharaohs. Pharaohs are they built temples? Like, actually, think of it this way: Jeff Bezos did not build the rocket, did he? Right? No. He stole the labor of a whole bunch of people. Did it, and then he actually does more than that. He stole the credit. Isn't that fucking great? Because he built the pyramid. No, he didn't. Slaves did, or, or workers did. Oh, workers did. That's right. Not really slaves. So they may have done like the, some of the basic things to clean up the stuff around the workers, but they probably weren't the workers. Workers were considered. But see, the, the first worker strike in history, speaking of capitalism, was in Egypt. And it was over to not getting their weekly ration of beer. They're supposed to get it daily, but they hadn't got it for a week and they were well, fucking yeah. pissed. For sure. Yeah. So, but so the, the, the labor struggle is also nothing new it's about four thousand i think it's four thousand 
oh, I don't remember, 500 or something, 300, 400. Yeah. Know. But anyways, it's, it's something like that. But so the, the point is I'm saying, it's a long time. All this bullshit that you think, like, all oh, is brand new. It's a fuck, dude. This is like the, the lingering fucking still going shit. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I think that even like uh, those uh, people, those people like Kropotkin or Marx, yeah. like that wrote about this stuff that we now li- read and listen to now, they right. knew that they knew that this was an ongoing struggle. They wrote about that. They, they oh, yeah. knew history better than people who read Marx and Kropotkin now. <laughs> <laughs> well, and speaking of which, you know, when I first started researching history, I didn't actually know that. But I told you at the time, actually, I didn't even classify myself as an anarchist because I didn't actually know anything, really. So I couldn't. <laughs> I didn't know enough to say I was something. Someone actually had to point me to that direction. But I started seeing that the best person explaining history, like anthropologically, was an was an anarchist um I can't remember who it was exactly, but because uh, it could have been Kropotkin, but it also could have been um, someone else. I can't remember now, mm. but because wasn't he a historian or, or he was an anthropologist, I think. Yeah. Right. So, but, but I think but it might actually have been someone else because it, because, uh, it was about mutualism too. Cause I remember it was one of the best um, things out there. I mean, I could not write better, but I know more now, but at the time I didn't know shit. And this was the best the, and I was like, this is written 18 fucking something? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I was like, this, this, nobody's done, nobody has fucking tried to figure out culture since 18 something. Dude, dude the world needs anarchists, obviously. Because look, they're all, because <laughs> you know yeah. what? We're not okay with the status quo. We go, especially like, we don't like things and they go, you can't do that. And we go, has anyone tried? And you're like, well, no, no one ever has. Like, how do it's you just against, that? it's just against what we're supposed to do. <laughs> But how, how do you know we can't do it? Well, it's too much. How do you know that? Nobody could ever fit out their lifetime. Has anyone tried? I just, I mean, I just, to me, I'm like, like, I'm hearing a bunch of bullshit. I'm not hearing like proof of anything. You're just saying it's hard. Mm, it's hard. It's hard to go to the moon. But you know what? We did believe we could do it. And that's kind of what it takes is, is not just the willingness, but you know, it's also this hope that we can. And then diligence to stick to the goal. Just like I think that eventually we'll be reasoned enough to let capitalism go and have enough ethics to do it as well and bring in socialism and equality. So could you tell us any any, um, things you can wrap up about your experience or relation to what we're talking about in capitalism or... Well, I just... uh, Or any insights that you've learned? Because I know know you have a bunch of stuff and I want you... (laughs) <laughs> well, I, I, I know that, uh, there's a new book that came out by David Graeber. A lot of his stuff overlaps with what our stuff is, but without the focus on religion. Right. Um, so it, it's really interesting stuff. Um, what would you say that you like that you thought it was similar or overlapped specifically a, a well, point or two? The very specific, like, uh, indigenous peoples, uh, uh, when when indigenous peoples started intermingling with Europeans, yeah, and they started going like, "What the fuck is wrong with you, you people in Paris? Why do you treat each other this way?" Right. The, I <laughs> yeah, I the, believe it though. <laughs> yeah, there there uh, there was one. Uh, I think his name was Candion Narak or something. Ah, I'm probably saying that wrong, but he uh, he went to your France, mm. and he said, "You." You call us primitive, but all you do is compete. We live in a society where we take care of each other, and you people are fighting each other all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and we think it's normal. And we think, well, it's always been this way. And I'm like, no, it hasn't. For sure, it hasn't been for 13,000 years. Anything over that, anything older than 13,000 years, it's 100% sure that didn't happen. Right, right. And then for sure, like I said, the real violence starts at 7,000, and then the empire is at 5,000. So, you can that's see, when the <laughs> yeah that's when the real shit hit the fan because but why at five thousand the sexism became law well i don't know that it was law before right the thing with that is because that became a time when only a male heir can be a pharaoh of course love that right sexism <laughs> built right into that fucker 
Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's it which is really it's it's just a continuation of the clan leader cult in a sense. Now this person is just the god, in a, or from a god or whatever. Which I think also, I was listening. To, I watched a movie on the Egyptian uh, myths, and they were talking about the people being bigger and the people still being very human like. Okay. And then living like in on top of mountains, and I thought, man, that sure fuck sounds like the North Asian warlords. They like to mm. be on top of a mountain. <laughs> they're elite, have fucking slaves on catered like they're gods, carry them around like they're mm-hmm. gods. I have a picture that says, "Don't be worshipped by a god," or "Don't don't don't um yeah, don't be a slave to a god." So I said, because in a sense, that's I, I have a feeling that. Like, because even the, some of the North Asians, they almost talk as if it sounds like a group of people. I think that it's possible because, see, farmers were eating shit, like not very healthy food, like mm-hmm. like eating bread all the time. Imagine it's like you, like you, you raise your kid this entire life only bread. <laughs> yeah, you there's going to be nutritional dif- deficiencies. Right, yeah. <laughs> shorter. They're shorter. They're like they're, a male is like six five six to five four. Short, right, or, or, or whatever. Yep. I, I'm just saying, in a smaller frame. I'm not trying to judge people's size, by the way. I'm just making a comment about the farmers, because that's a small person compared to the northerners who are like six foot six four. Right. They would seem so like gods. They clearly so, had a different that, diet, they a different <laughs> color. They're lighter skinned, and these other people are darker skinned, and these people mm. have blue eyes. And these people would have been uh, lighter skin. It could have brown, could have blonde, you know, hair. Could have different. Their variations was of lightness was like all over the place. It wasn't distinct. <laughs> you need to go. Okay, so I need to go. <laughs> all right, that's cool. I, I appreciate it, man. This is great, and um, I, I always yeah, uh, appreciate your stuff. Go ahead and, and, and plug who you are and, and, and your stuff. Sure, it's the mind of a skeptical leftist on YouTube, uh, podcast players, and uh, at skeptical lefty on Twitter. That's pretty much anarchy in the SK. If you want to catch me on Instagram, <laughs> right on. That's about it. Yeah, and I really think that everyone should uh, check you out because I think that you are one of the the few really phenomenal human beings. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I I appreciate that. I I, yeah. I, I I don't I don't feel that way with everybody. You are really quality. I thought that when I when I saw just pictures of you with your kids, I told you it before. That's what I already knew. But see, I know behavior. I can see it. I can see like behaviors of people. Do. It's just anyways. So I realized you were quality and then you've done nothing but prove that, boy, I was right as hell. Well, it's, uh, the goal is to always be a better person tomorrow than I was today. So, but I really do feel that you've, you've really grown even that, that, that since the time that we started talking, I really feel that you've really embodied a, a very confident, you know, and healthy person. I, I'm really proud of you. Well, I appreciate that. And I, I appreciate your friendship and I appreciate, uh, I really enjoy doing this project with you. Well, I agree. And, and like I told you, the next, or everybody also, we're going to do the next one, the, the uh, normal, but then the one after that's got to be later because of two reasons. One, because my wife wants us to go visit our um, granddaughter on that time because of the holidays. And then the holidays right. come. And so she doesn't want to do then. So then we're going to do it after to make it a lot better. I don't want to do that way because I really would like to get to it. But I, this was the one I really cared the most about was getting to capitalism. I've been waiting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but but also I want people to know that if you're a capitalist, that does not mean I hate you. I, actually, I feel like we're all victims of capitalism. So don't don't think that. And yeah. if other, other, other anarchists maybe could, could feel that way, I guarantee I don't. I mean, yeah, I, it's a, uh, I don't. I don't blame, uh, I guess, what you might call like the the small time capitalists or workers who Im- inv- imagine themselves as capitalists. That's the uh, real truth. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, it's we live in a system, and mm-hmm. we are often a product of that system, and how much we participate in exploitation uh, is a problem. But individually, we can all be, we can all get out of that. We can break these cycles. Well, and the other thing too is that don't buy the capitalist bullshit. Then, when 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 you realize it's wrong, that somehow you're wrong. 
Fuck that. <laughs> no, no, no. That's their bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Fuck that. There's nothing. You're not the wrong. You are under oppression. It's like if I start punching you and then you said you feel depressed and scared. Well, fuck, I'm punching you. Like, but that, some things are just like, <laughs> duh. Yeah, that's how this works. <laughs> I, I feel so stressed and overwhelmed with capitalism. Like, yeah, that pretty mm -hmm. much describes it. You, yeah. Or you just noticed? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's fucking bad. <laughs> All right. Well, I really got to go. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Man. I, I really enjoyed talking to you, everybody. You know, have a good one. See you later. Hello, and welcome to my channel. I am Damien Marie at Hope. In the simplest terms, I am an atheist humanist philosopher and prehistorical writer researcher at DamienMarieAtHope.com. I am specifically an axiological atheist. An axiological atheism can be thought to involve ethical and value theory reasoned and moral argument driven apathyism, agnosticism, atheism, anti-theism, anti-religionism, secularism, and humanism. Axiological atheists can be understood as a value theory or a value science atheist. As an axiological atheism's ethically reasoned and constructive pro-humanity, I am an axiological thinker, value theorist, the science of goodness, worthiness, usefulness, valuableness, virtue, reliableness, accuracy, validity, morality, integrity, beneficialness, etc., etc. We axiologists have a value consciousness. And in general, we see the architecture of humanistic humanitarianism value in people that we see as dignity beings. Places and things are not. Axiology is a value theory. In its broadest sense, it involves areas of philosophy that are deemed to encompass some evaluative or evaluation aspect. Therefore, it crosses almost all domains in some way or another. Now for a more detailed terms as to what I am. I am an axiological atheist, an anti-theist, an anti-religionist, secularist, humanist, rationalist, writer, artist, poet, philosopher, advocate, activist, with schooling in psychology, sociology, as well as I am an autodidact, self-taught in science, archaeology, anthropology, and philosophy. I promote science. And I'm against pseudoscience, pseudo-history, pseudo-morality, things that are found in religion. I support realism, axiology, of course, liberty, justice, ethics. I am also an anarchist socialist. I support anarchism and socialism, progressivism, liberalism, philosophy, psychology, archaeology, and anthropology, advocating for sexual, gender, child, secular, LBGTQIA+, race, class rights, and equality. So if you can guess from all that, I support or challenge that I have an eclectic variety of videos on a variety of topics. Please take time to check them out, as well as enjoy, if you enjoy them, please give them a like. And don't forget to subscribe as new things are on their way all the time for my channel.